Welcome to Mostly Sports. I'm Mark Titus. Brandon Walker is out today. Uh, yeah, I. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm debating if this is TMI, but he did share with us the reason. Um, and I feel like if he didn't want us to tell everybody, he wouldn't have told us. Uh, Brandon's getting his anal glands expressed. Um, <laughs> he yesterday was not feeling right sitting down, uh, said it was a little itchy. Uh, there's a fishy smell. Um, I did not realize human beings get this done. I thought this was more for dogs, but Brandon said he had some uh, a situation going on and he needed to make an appointment to get his anal glands expressed. So this was apparently the only time they could get him in. And that's what he's doing right now. So Brandon is getting his anal glands expressed, but it is Friday, uh, February 23rd. We are live from Chicago. And uh, I, there's two things I want to talk about, but first I want to do this. We are we are playing games later in the show. TJ's feeling great today. Yeah. TJ yeah. is. I am. I don't know what what's in the air. I don't know if it's the weather was better this week, but I'm I'm feeling like today's going to be a great oh, voice crack. Never mind. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Board, 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 board. <laughs> He's been throwing out like one liners. He's just yeah. been like on a tear today. Yeah, he's uh he's he's like changing his voice a little bit, you know, like doing a little bit of that. Doing some uh It's a great day to be great. Yeah. <laughs> um I don't know. I prepared some stuff for later. I want to spin some horses and, and see where that gets us. So I prepared five mostly horses and five sports horses. Connor also prepared something. Uh, yeah. which I think is going to be one of the horses. I think I think Connor's – I'm going to take out one of my horses and put Connor's horse in there, and uh, we'll do that a little, little later. So, um, yeah, first I want to talk about uh, a handful of things, and I don't know if we should start with Kevin Durant or these, these MLB uniforms that uh, – I'll be honest, this was a huge swing and a miss by me and Brandon when we first saw these uniforms, these new uniforms, and you guys were like, "These are terrible." I, I think I want to start with the uniforms. I'm seeing, I'm seeing way too much dick on my timeline right now. Um, you showed us these uniforms, and I was like, 
yeah, sure, they're not great. I whatever. The pants are. They have to do something about atrocious. Them. Yeah, they have to do something. They have. I don't, I don't know they're what invisible. else to say. Like, you can see, I'm, I'm scrolling. Like there, there's the, every 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 like pi- pictures of baseball players are not safe for work anymore. Like you're just seeing one after the other. It's just <laughs> <laughs> dick and balls. It's Although dick and balls everywhere you look. I do think a lot of photographers, not in this case because this is a staged photo shoot, but I do think a lot of photographers are specifically seeking out dick. Like they're trying to find <laughs> the angles of these players where their penises are very visible and they're like oh gotta snap it and just to show what was the one there, yeah this is like the that, one. One. that <laughs> one you can't be taking that picture you can't be taking that picture a picture like this came out of me with no ex- exaggeration i would kill myself right <laughs> yeah. now. i would have to this is but, just crazy to your point connor this is not uh, yeah that, this is a great point connor because this picture is not being taken if he, he has normal no. pants on you're not taking a picture of a guy touching his toes from behind, or, or, or unless, maybe, unless you know that you can see dick in that picture, and you can put that out and say, "Look at the dick." Yeah, maybe you put it out, but you delete it from your camera roll right after. You're not posting it on social media unless there's something there. I might have a solution. Teams only wear the road grays because I've I've noticed it's only been the white. Oh, pants. it's the white pants. So we play gray versus gray and, and call it. You know, everybody's in gray. This baseball year. really isn't a sport where you would get confused with the teams based off the color. No. Yeah, you shouldn't. Yeah, like the helmets are, are enough to and hats are enough to distinguish. How do you guys um I didn't mean for this to be the discussion seven minutes into the show, but um an old man take and, and if you're not there yet, you will get there eventually at some point in your life. You will bitch about uniforms, like beyond like these uniforms are bad and more like um when you're watching a basketball game and one team's wearing dark blue and the other team's wearing like dark red and you get angry that you can't immediately tell which teams which are, are are is anybody else in the room there yet with like really the nba is the the most egregious example but it's trickled down to college where like you can watch you can watch a team like wearing black and another team's wearing like gray and it like breaks my brain trying to watch it yeah. um but to your point ebo that like basketball does this where it's not obvious right away who's on which team uh, you would think baseball would be able to if if basketball can do if you can do like two dark colors in a basketball game, surely baseball could just do like all gray, right? I, I would don't imagine, know. yeah. But yeah, did did you guys get upset about uniforms? Other than other than like I don't mean the MO I don't mean like these uniforms are bad. I mean like um why are the why are the Celtics wearing pink? God damn it! My biggest not, issue <laughs> that's is not one of their colors. You're watching and you turn it on and it's a team that's red and it's another team that's red, but one team is wearing black and the score bug is black and so right. I kind of have to do a little extra thinking about which right. team is which. That's what I don't like. Yeah. The um, how oh my god, my voice. How experimental the NBA has gotten with their uniforms and all these different alternates, whether it's the the city uniforms. Or they have a, I'm trying to think of what other names they have. Their pride uniforms or whatever the case is. Like, they have all these different sets. And it does, I think they actually have a schedule online. Can't you look online? Yeah, to out? they they announced that, like, at the start of the season, all of the jersey matchups for all season. Which is crazy. Yeah, there's no, like, so, like it used to be, like, home team picks and then yeah, uh, opposing yeah. team counters or whatever. Now it's like, here's your jersey layout for the entire year. But, like, I love it. Just seeing like the Sixers play the Celtics, I like seeing those two traditional uniforms face off against each other, and you rarely see it now because yeah. we'll be rolling out our, you know, our city. special uh, city edition jerseys, or we'll have our alternate. What it's just like it's so dumb. There was actually there was a broadcaster a couple weeks ago, I think it was for Celtics Nets, who was like, yeah, it's so nice because it was the first time in a while it had just been the basic white and black uniforms for the Nets and then the traditional green uniforms for the Celtics. He was like, yeah, this is really nice just to see these two yeah, yeah. just facing off against each other. Yeah. And he actually had to cover his ass because he was like, well, but I like all the, the stuff that the NBA is doing. With right, the right, because you have to say that. Yeah. Otherwise, you're... But it is getting out of hand, and the NBA I is the it. biggest culprit. Um, Yeah, I, I've, I've gotten to a point where I don't mind the alternate uniforms as much, but I think one thing I will always hate is in basketball is the home team not wearing the lighter color yes like that is that is a pet peeve that will never go away is when the home team is wearing black or something i will i will always i don't care how cool the jerseys are get that the fuck out of my face because the home team should always be wearing 
if not white, like the lighter color. That's just like it's an it's an easy instant way to understand who's on what team. Um, so maybe I'm talking myself out of this with uh, everybody wearing gray and. But they got to do something, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I I've, I haven't done a 180 on a on a story any faster than this one. That like you guys you guys were like these these new MLB uniforms stink. I said who cares. And then now I'm getting dick on the timeline, and I'm like, we got to do something about this. Somebody pointed out in this one, this not, so not only is their pants completely see-through, but also the jerseys have different sleeve cuffs on them, so there's just, like, different jerseys being handed out as well. Like, the, Oh, yeah. It, oh, the entire yeah. thing is a mess. The, these are two different jerseys. I think the, the players got to revolt and start putting stuff in their pockets that's offensive. Yeah. Um, so you can just see through. I mean, I, their penises are already bad enough. But right. Like I don't know. Do something that'll upset MLB. In turn, like it'll. Yeah, you can see, you can see their. Butt you're, or you're seeing the jersey like, tucked into the pants, and then underneath the jersey, the compression shorts that they're wearing. Yeah, like uh, like some sort of like fuck the jerseys underwear or something. Yeah, yeah. Like or just piss your pants before every game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, TJ. Every just, player just pees just himself. Pee your or poop your yeah. 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 Every your player pants. comes out with poopy <laughs> pants on. They'll they'll change them quickly. These are not good for for if you have a bad fart. No. These are terrible bad fart yeah. pants. Yeah. Also, though, if you slide in these, they'll probably explode. I would imagine they, they, you could see through them. You can't. That is can't true. Slide in them. You slide on your stomach, dude, and you just get like the rip straight down and and you're really going to have dick flopping out. Do baseball players still wear cups? Uh yeah, I believe all the infielders wear cups. I think it's the infielders do? Yeah. Everyone that yeah, anyone that catchers and infielders and pitchers all wear cups. You guys ever wear a cup when you played sports? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, every single game. I fucking hated those things, dude. No, I I, I had too much. It's always had, too small. It's too small. Yeah, yeah. I had too much going on. <laughs> like, yeah, that's probably what it was. It was village. Yeah. I I, um, I felt way too unprotected without it. I would get very nervous. Wait, only you wait, are big, you are big protected. No, no, no. Baseball. I played oh, okay, baseball growing okay. up. You're playing chess. So <laughs> <laughs> like I was in the chess club. You used to have to wear a cup. Uh, can't be too careful out there. Protection is very important. Uh, yeah, I would wear one when I played like little league baseball. Um, and I was like, "What am I doing? Like, you're you're playing first base. Why? I mean, I get it, but I don't do. Do football players wear cups? There's no way. Like, I doubt Quarterbacks it. are wearing cups. They almost wear these like receivers wear no pads at all. Yeah. Some of the some of the skill guys like on the uh, yeah, like some of these receivers they're like uh knee pads and their their thigh pads are like non-existent. I feel uh, like a guy like John Randall wore a cup for sure. Yeah. But like I feel like maybe it's not cool to wear a cup anymore. Yeah. In I the don't NFL. Know. I don't know. That's that's why I was asking cuz I remember a time where it was like everybody has to wear a cup. But then I I it, it just doesn't like register to me in 20. Like if you're if you're a catcher in baseball, of course you should wear a cup, but um, yeah, like the, do left fielders wear cups? I don't think any position in sports that like has to run full speed is wearing a cup. Yeah, that's what I. It's it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So the the jerseys I wanted to talk about that we did that. Uh, but the real story yesterday in sports was Kevin Durant versus podcasters. <laughs> um. <laughs> And uh, so this one's a tough one for me because uh, I think these people stink. Uh, the if this is this is one of those deals where like if you read the headline, your team fan, I think, and if you watch the video, you're like, all right, well, I understand Kevin Durant. I'm I'm I cannot be team fan because these fans stink, and uh, I, I can't support them. But uh, there's a phenomenon in the NBA right now. Where it, that I need I need this explained to me. What, the word "bitch" is apparently the most offensive thing you can say to an NBA player, um, and I don't mean to say that like I want to be called a bitch, but of all the things that these guys get called, all the things you get heckled, it's it does seem like it's specifically that word that like LeBron had like a meltdown about this that he's like. He like stops in his track. Like was was it was another player was calling him a bitch, right? Um, it was Adoka and a, a combination of like Adoka and uh, Dylan that's Brooks. right, that's right. Yeah, Coach. Ime Adoka was yeah yeah was he, he's like we don't use that word. Um, and then there was the other one where it was the lady in the crowd was like the, the Warriors, like, yes, bitch. Yeah, you're a pussy ass bitch. And then the security guards like, watch your mouth, woman. I'm gonna remember that face. <laughs> and um, there's a clip of Russ every two weeks that comes out yeah. someone calling him a pussy. Yeah, uh, but but I I like is bitch. 
I guess I didn't realize bitch was because I I I like to throw bitch around a lot. I like to you know I'm I'm like Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, dude. I just like <laughs> I I throw bitch around as like a sometimes as a compliment. Um, but these guys they they hear the word bitch and they like break down. And I guess I don't know like maybe I need to be called a bitch. Connor, call me a bitch real quick. <laughs> I wanted I just want to see how it feels. Like I don't I, I I what am I missing that like. You're running out of a tunnel for a game, and a guy's like Durant, you're a bitch. And instead of just going like, ha, whatever, I'm gonna just I'm gonna drop forty on these guys tonight anyway. You stop in your tracks, and you're like, hey, 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 hey. We don't use that word. I don't know. I don't know. Want me to say, like add some English? I don't know. I wanna. I just wanna feel because like maybe maybe I just need to be in their shoes and feel what it's like to be called a bitch. Um, because like I in my in my mind I would not be that rattled, but maybe. I need to experience it and see how I'd actually take it. Do you want to reenact the entire, like, pretend like you're coming <laughs> in to to go to work and then have, Connor can call you. Yeah, yeah, let way. me try, let me just try that. that. Let me just Because it might have been a, an instance where he was like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do day what, I, yeah. what I normally do. I got my coffee and I'm coming into the studio and I just want to, I just want to feel this. <laughs> I want to see what this feels like as you're trying to do your job. For the podcast, Titus is walking out of the room. All right, boys, let's have a good show today. Let's, uh, no Brandon, we'll make it work. Um, Titus, you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have, we have a sports podcast. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you just gonna not dab him up? What the fuck, Connor? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I need to see the video. I need to see that video again, dude. I what love was, that clip. What was that? I'm sorry. That didn't feel, I wanted, feel good at all. I wanted to yeah. say, like, pussy bitch, or I wanted to say bitch ass, but I, I couldn't do it to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she stuck her tongue out. Hey. hey. <laughs> he heard podcast he was like i'm out i'm out it was the podcast what was the goal of saying i have a podcast um having Durant come on the podcast no no i think he's saying i'm not like those other fans like i i uh i get it you know like we're just we're just talking shit man you know you know how you know how it is we're just on podcasts you just say some shit that's all we're doing um her trying to shake his hand was I, I actually thought that was a good move. I thought that was yeah. she's trying to de escalate the situation. Uh but it is that is a hilarious screenshot. <laughs> she got her tongue out. <laughs> and it's not going for a handshake, she's, it's specifically going for a to, dap. Yeah, she's trying to dap him up. <laughs> um What's up? Yeah, these people stink. <laughs> these people stink, but also I also like I'm I'm scrolling through Twitter last night. Ohio State basketball is playing at Minnesota, and uh, Jamison Battle is one of the starters at Ohio State. Our shooter um, had a good game against Purdue. He's play. He's transferred to Ohio State from Minnesota. This is his first game back in Minnesota. Um, and as I'm scrolling through Twitter, as as this is going on, and this this clip is getting circulated, uh, Adam Jardy of the Columbus Dispatch, the Ohio State basketball beat reporter, tweets. That Jamison Battle, as the game's about to start, is being serenaded with "fuck you, Battle" chance uh, in Minnesota, <laughs> and I can't help but like laugh at the the juxtaposition of college basketball. These guys are getting "fuck you" <laughs> and their names chanted at them, <laughs> and it's just like you just have to suck it up and deal with it. And the the most talented players on planet Earth that are getting paid God knows how much money. Um, they're running out of the tunnel and they get called a bitch by podcasters and they have to, they stop in their tracks and run back and say, don't you dare say that about me ever again. <laughs> um, it's just a weird, it is weird. So is Kevin Durant a bitch? Like, is, is this, does this make him, I don't know. I need help understanding this. Cause I was like, that's, I mean, one way to, to not look like a bitch would be to, I mean, one, like if you're, if you're trying to come across as someone who's not a bitch, I think, 
letting two podcasters get inside your head as you're running out of the tunnel is not a great way to do it. Um, but there's a paradox, but, Mark. Go ahead. If you run away and you that's, don't confront it, you're that's okay. what I was going to say. It depends forth so much on an issue than when it comes to entitlement of fans. What can they do during a game if players have the right to respond and everything? But like, what about like immigration? <laughs> so you you have like a more or like uh, abortion. Like those are. Those are issues that you're like more defined. Those are but, much but these, easier issues to figure for, out. For, figure out for you whether or not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Got it. Because it's like you're paying the money to be that close to the court. Do you then have not the right, but the ability to call out players, which is uh, people have done for decades, or do the athletes have a right to say "fuck you"? You shouldn't be doing this. Have some respect. Like, I don't know. I, I really I don't know. I go back and forth on it a ton. Mm. I know. I think if anything, in this specific case, it is Kevin Durant. It's not him being a bitch. He's, not, he's not. a. He's not a bitch. Are I, we putting that on record? I, I see. I can't put it That's on record. I mean. because yeah, it's, I go it's back tough. And forth on. It's tough. The fact that he acted so swiftly and the face he makes immediately as soon as he hears the word bitch, that was like a a tough move. So I can't call him really a bitch. I don't know. Uh, has anybody brought up? She may have said bench. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, if, if if she said something, if he, if she called him an asshole, do you think he does this? If Like, what is it about bitch that's so mm. inflammatory? I don't know. A pussy? Pussy's worse, right? Duran, you're a pussy. <sighs> pussy ass bitch. That's the ultimate. But that's what that's what uh, LeBron got called in, at uh, at the at the Warriors game. See, I'd, um, I'd rather be called a pussy ass bitch than a dumb bitch. Yeah, dumb bitch is it's like soft insults, like so, like a stupid dumbass that would hurt my feelings. Yeah, or like, hey, you f- loser. No, how do you think Joe Namath feels when we call him a dumb bitch? Joe Namath, you dumb bitch. Yeah, I don't know. We should get him on the show. He's in the chat. Have, I would, <laughs> He's in the chat. I would love to have Joe Namath on the show. Uh yeah, I don't know. I guess this is just the uh, the modern NBA now. It's just like these these things are going to continue to happen because I don't I don't think the fans are going to stop doing this. I mean, do you think it emboldens them to see a player react like this? I think so. I I think it's just like it's it's human behavior to want to heckle the opposing team. I yeah. think that's like I think that for a lot of people that is in the fan contract. It's like if I'm going to be a fan of my team and I'm going to go to the game, part of what my responsibility as a fan is, I'm going to cheer for my guys. I'm going to heckle the other guys. Mm-hmm. Um, now, to your point, Connor, there is a line, and if you're yelling slurs, if you're making it personal and like you know attacking family members of these players, stuff like that. Uh, but I have to believe that like calling players a bitch is okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If that doesn't the, that doesn't sound like that big of a deal to me, but like these players just oh my god, like it's going to be written in the the new CBA or something. They're like every every fan that calls us a bitch gets kicked out of the game. Um, but yeah, so I don't I don't I think fans are never ever going to stop uh, being at games, seeing the opposing team run out of the, like is booing going to start being. There, there is going to be a point where it's like, all right, this is ridiculous. These players are, in fact, being bitches about all this. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. I don't know where the line is. I, I, I feel like bitch is fine, but maybe the line is that this was in pregame when there weren't as many people in the stands and they were literally right there. And it feels more personal. And it does feel more personal. Whereas obviously in the heat of a game, there are maybe so, hundreds of people calling you a bitch. Yeah, like that's that's a weird paradox too of like. If there were nineteen thousand people chanting, "You're a bitch" at Kevin Durant, yeah, he doesn't care as much because it's like not as direct of one one person looking him in the eye as he's running out of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm with you. I'm with you, Connor. That one is a, it's a uh, tough one. That, that's a tough one. That's that's one of the toughest ones we have in culture right now in society. So we'll see. Is a is a let's wait and see. So we'll see for sure. Uh, one more thing, and then we can get to the uh, horses. Um, actually, two more things. If we're going to talk about uh, heckling um, great basketball players, and uh, 
you know, I don't, I don't know what the segue is here, but uh, I got to be completely honest. I need to take a, I need to take a drink of water because I'm shook by this. I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, my light, my night last night consisted of uh, getting done here at work, going home, plopping on the couch. I'm looking forward to a a nice glass of wine to to unwind. Um, you know going to throw on some sports or maybe not you know maybe maybe tonight is not a night of sports maybe tonight is a night uh we turn the tv off we just uh you know we have a quiet night in the house and we um you know put the fireplace on we sip on some wine put on a little classical music as we do in the Titus household obviously because we're we're classy bitches (laughs) um and you know and just relax and enjoy the finer things uh before I got a chance to do that though um I'm scrolling through twitter.com and i'm getting tagged like crazy in a uh tweet from uh ohio's tate uh who is in in on his way to coaching his uh high school basketball his girls high school basketball team to a state championship in the state of ohio right now um and he did a he did a uh, video with this with one of his players alia now i saw this and i saw that he was doing a video with alia and i thought oh alia that's the girl from uh, the blog that he wrote. Aaliyah is uh, Tate wrote a blog before they started in the state this state tournament, where he compared all of his players to barstool personalities. This is the girl that he compared to me, and I was like, "This is the girl." I remember reading the blog and thinking, "Oh, well, I'm going to cheer for this girl. I like this girl. If she's if if Tate looks at her and says she reminds me of Mark Titus." Then that's good enough for me. I'm going to be a huge supporter of Aaliyah, and I'm going to love. Uh, you know, I'm going to love watching her on this journey to a state championship. Um, so I see that Aaliyah makes a video with Tate, and I was like, all right, I'm going to support this. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to retweet it. She comes right at my fucking throat. I mean, like, <laughs> like right at my throat. Uh, I don't think I was the, the number one target of this video, but, uh, boy, I was shook. I was shook, boys, and I didn't know, uh, I don't, I don't know how to handle this. So... Here's the clip for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. It was a 94 feet type segment, and it ends with this. Ladies that try to ruin our season. Anything else you want to say? Mark Titus, three point contest. Get to this gym. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how to play this because I am an Aaliyah fan. She she was my favorite player on this team. Um, but she's calling me out. Uh. I'm not. I'm not backing down from a challenge. I'm not a bitch, but also, what, what's what's more the bitch move? What's more the bitch move? What what what, what did we decide? If I, um, if I let her know she's getting to me, does that make me a bitch? Or if I ignore it, am I a bitch? Which, which makes me the bigger bitch? I think you have to. Confront. I think I have to confront it. I think I have to. Can I see the clip again? I, what makes you more of a real man? Great question. Responding to a high schooler in a three-point contest or walking away from the situation? Speaking of walking away, but travel. 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 That's a travel. (laughs) She traveled, dude. That doesn't count. Travel. She traveled. Um, No, I don't don't know how to handle this. Uh, And then the other thing, uh, I saw her last night because I – I, I am inclined to, to accept the challenge. Um, I, I don't want to, you know, I think her hitting that shot like that, that, that shows me that she's worthy of the, uh, the shooting challenge. And that's my biggest gripe with some of these challenges around, uh, around this office is that a lot of the people we work with want to challenge me to shooting contests. And uh, I think you have to earn the right. You know, I, I'm not just going to like Fazoli can't just come up to me and be like, Titus, want to play? Here? No, 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 no. You can't just come at the Chili's three for me. Uh, that, you know, that, it doesn't work that way. It, it, you can't have, you can't have like Tyson Fury when he's holding the belt. You can't just like accept any, any guy off the street wanting to fight him. You got it. There's a process to this, right? Uh, I think I saw, I've seen enough from Aliyah. If Tate says that she's the greatest three point shooter in the history of this program. Um, I think I have to accept the challenge. Like her, her credentials are there. Now, the one problem I did have is she wants to play for the Chili's three for me trophy. I was about to ask. Yeah. And. 
I don't I don't know how I feel about that because I don't I don't think you can be taking trophies out of people trophy cases like that. I don't think this is a championship. But I think I think it's disrespectful to the Chili's three for me because like I did this with a chicken finger in my mouth. I did this against Sean Marion. Like, how do you recreate that? I don't think her beating me in a shooting competition undoes the Chili's three for me. You know, like you can't. What do we think? Am I am I wrong there? Like I, I, I if I if I do this challenge, we can we can come up with our own trophy. We can come up with our own parameters. But like I don't think you can. That's not how sports work. Like if you win the championship, you put that trophy in the case in the trophy case, and then we figure out another trophy, right? Well, this- I'm just thinking back to the Iron Claw. The way it worked in that movie was that you would have a young up and coming wrestler who would get a shot at the guy with the title belt, but it would just be an exhibition. Mm. And if they did well, maybe they they won that exhibition against the the title. So is the Chili's? I guess the question then is: they get is, a rematch. Is the Chili's three for me trophy? Is this the title belt? Because I yeah. was under the impression this is set in stone. I did this. That like I I don't and boy we we don't talk about it a lot on the show. I know so like maybe this has been lost uh, through time here, but. Um, I don't think people fully realize what I put my body through to win this. Like what the 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 level of dedication to the craft to have a chicken finger in my mouth and still hit all these shots. Like and and to go through that and then think that like you know a shooting competition in a completely different gym with no chicken fingers and no Sean Marion we should be transferring this trophy. I just feel like that's that's disrespectful to what happened on that day when I when this was won. So I don't know. I, I feel a little weird about that. I go ahead. In this type of scenario, she would also have to put a championship on the line. Right. And then it would be a winner takes all. So I think Oh yes. Undisputed unify the belt. If she wins <laughs> That's what I'm she's saying. The Chili's as well. three for me champion. If you win, you're the Ohio women's High school basketball state champion. That's a great call, TJ. I, I think I you think, also get her three point records as well. I get all the records of the the Granville, <laughs> champion Granville, versus champion. right? Granville High School. Uh, I am the greatest Granville High School women's basketball player of all time, and they have to like put my. They have to retire. Your they name. have to retire my jersey. Your chili three <laughs> the, for me yeah, jersey. My chili three for me <laughs> jersey has to go up in the gym. Now we're talking. Cause that's the that was my issue was like why am I the only one putting something up here you know, uh, because the way I was seeing it I was like this is lose 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 for me like well how how do I win here um, but yeah I mean if I can get my jersey hung up uh as the in in, in the rafters of the Granville High School I don't know we'll 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 discuss I'm not I'm not running from the challenge I would just like to flesh out the parameters of this challenge she she uh, certainly seems like a worthy uh opponent and uh best of luck to them in their pursuit of a state championship but i was shook by that i was i was an Aaliyah fan and now i don't know i don't know how to feel about it <laughs> she specifically tweeted at you saying we're playing for the three for me trophy right yeah yeah she's like we're playing for the trophy and i thought you know i don't i don't know if it works that way like i don't know if you're the <laughs> i don't know, i don't know if you can just do that, but at the same time, I kind of want someone else to say that. I don't want to be the one to say yeah. that because then I look like I'm running from the challenge. I'll say it, Mark. Please say it, Connor. It, it should not just be her coming in or you going there and playing for the three for me. There should be something that she has to put up as well. That just devalues the three for me because I don't think she's I don't think she's thinking through the precedent that's being set there. Because like once you, if she she's going to beat me, we know that we know we know how this is going to end. But once you beat me and you take the Chili's three for me three point trophy, you have now set the precedent that anybody can challenge her, and now she could like that trophy might not be long for for her. Like she might she might lose it right right away. There might be like a money in the bank situation where someone immediately <laughs> cashes it in and is like, I want the Chili's three for me trophy. And at this point, if we're passing that thing around like crazy, you're just kind of devaluing the trophy. So. That's my concern with that. Is is the Chili's three for me trophy? As we know, is the most prestigious trophy in basketball shooting, and I, I'm not a hundred percent opposed to putting it on the line. I just want to think this through because once you set this precedent, you are you might be devaluing, you know, 
one of the great trophies we have in sports. And it, it sounds like Aaliyah wants, wants to finish her story. But like, what if we had an old great, like, uh, I don't know, like Steph Curry come back, mm. and he actually competed against yeah. you at this, right. this event, and then you were putting up your trophy against his three-point trophy. Against his belt, against, with, uh, against the, his, his three-point, uh, his NBA three-point contest trophies that he's won in the past, mm -hmm. or against his... Uh, Sabrina versus Steph belt that he won. I think you should go for the belt. I should go for the Sabrina yeah. Steph belt. Yeah. Um, trash belt, by the way. That was kind of a trash belt. Trash belt. belt. Very cheap belt. Do belts... Uh, belts don't really work anymore outside of <sighs> combat sports. For, yeah. Like, the, like the, the Super Bowl champions having WWE belts on their shoulder, that kind of played out the, to me. The WWE has... has like gotten a belt to every single yeah. champion right away. It's it was very cool the first like when the I think the Packers are the first team that did it that comes to my mind when like they were doing like the because Rogers was doing and like then the they had the they had the chip. big gold belt the World right, Heavyweight Championship right, that's belt right. that year but now it's like everybody's got a custom belt right away I don't know it's kind yeah. of played out yeah. I love a good belt though I got a darts championship belt made for darts day last year we need a mostly sports title one of the coolest things I've seen you pull out TJ yeah. Wait, pause. What? <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I did not mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. Uh, I have one more thing, and then we can uh, we can, we can can spin some horses. Um, what is this college volleyball thing oh. going on that you guys were talking about uh, right before we did the show, and then I see that's on the sheet? I, I, am, a, I am a big volleyball fan. Um, According I love to, watching volleyball. I need to understand what's going on here. According to my TikTok feed, this is the greatest tragedy in America right now. Girls, yeah. girls everywhere Prime. are having um, breakdowns because this has essentially destroyed the integrity and the fabric of uh, NCAA volleyball. Okay. And it is what exactly? Uh, um, Zuppi was explaining it. He used to be a libero. Um, that <laughs> basically it's so difficult to be the setter and get it out in one pure pass that it's a skill that is very valued and gets players to the next level into college. Now you don't have to do that. Now you can kind of like miss hit it and stuff and kind of redirect it as a setter. They've got more lax double hit. With, the, with the setting. Mm -hmm. So you can what? You can carry it now? You can hold on to it for a little bit? I don't know you if you can, can technically carry it, but you can hit it without two hands at once. You can hit it with just like one hand like that. Huh. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, but I'm trying to put, like... I'm like an to, NBA term? I'm trying to... Yeah. It it sounds like it's affected enough where, like, girls train their entire volleyball career to learn how to set correctly because yeah. setting is such a valued position at the college level because, like, nobody can do it right. Like, yeah. you have, like, setters. That's all you do is set. And now anybody is all of a sudden able to set. So all of these because... girls that tried to be setters their whole careers are just, like... All right, you're just not going to call. Yeah, the the it's become way easier to set. So now, yeah, the, the way Zuby described it was as as if all offensive linemen could now play center because you didn't have to snap the ball between your legs anymore. You didn't have to learn that skill. You Got could just it. hand the ball to the quarterback. That's a good analogy. Yeah. Got it. So why are they why are they doing this? Because this is just this is going to create more offense. I assume it's easier to now. I don't think you. I think it takes the short girls off the court and you can just have six oh, okay. tall people like you can make your libero like someone who's less skilled with that i'm texting every girl on my phone who i know <laughs> who played volleyball and i'm i'm trying to, i'm trying to get to the bottom of the issue here but yeah this connor's, is like the greatest american tragedy connor's just sliding in the dm like, <laughs> yeah no, i might do you that hear about this this is fucked up right <laughs> I want you. What's your take on it? It's the future meme where he's like typing in the corner on yeah. his phone. He's like, "Do you want to call me and talk about it later?" I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I bet you're you. broken up. Man. You want to come over and you know, no, a glass of wine and a glass of wine. Uh, TikTok. I, I was the same way. My entire TikTok feed. I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Because there are all these yeah. girls who are very dramatic. Like I, I, I train my whole life for this, and they're all of a sudden on a random what was it, Thursday or Wednesday, whatever the ruling was was handed down. I gotta talk to the. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend played uh, college volleyball. She's she was. I think she was a libero. I think she was this. I'm surprised I didn't hear about this. She's got to be distraught over this. Yeah. Um, I won't reach out to her. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, I might have to kick <laughs> your ass. Yeah. You've already called me a bitch. 
You tried to take my job earlier this week. You tried to wally. I did not try to take your job. Why aren't you? Why didn't you try to wally pit Brandon? <laughs> I didn't know because we had an. What the hell, dude? We had an orchestrated. I just thought about that. No, 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 no. I come on Monday. The show starts and I'm not here and you're sitting in my chair. Because Brandon asked me to be there. I didn't just stroll up to to the chair and take it. Brandon asked know, me dude. to be in the chair. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what is my problem with college volleyball is. The, the season's over now, right? Is it men's season? Is Are we in men's season? Yeah. Men, men's volleyball, uh, totally different sport. I don't like it as much. Volleyball. I hate it. I don't like it as much. It, it, and it's it feels like you should like it more, but because uh, they're they're hitting it harder, and it's like like the, the appeal of volleyball is that they're just like dunking on each other. Um, so you would think that like dudes winding up and smoking the ball at each other's faces – would be cooler, but it's just not as fun of rallies. No. It's just like over in a half second, and they're almost like too good. They gotta like put the net higher or something. I, I actually I disagree because a lot of times they try and hit it so hard on the serve that they don't even get it over the net. Oh, so put they're, the net lower. Not lower. So but. we should put the net. So you're saying put the net lower on the serve after the serve. Yeah. Push a button and have <laughs> yeah. the net go up. That'd be great. Okay. Because uh, they, yeah, they're all over the place with their serves. Yeah, I don't know. I have to monitor this uh, this volleyball situation. Yeah. Um, I'll get back to you. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting. All right, I got. It is crazy. I've been told to be able to just have the set come out spinning. Oh, that's what it is. You can put spin on it now. Yeah, because setting used to have to be like so perfectly with two hands. That right. Straight up. There's. I've seen videos of girls that are now like snake eyeing a set where they're going like this but the ball's coming out that way so like set oh and that anywhere. dude that's fucked because if you're playing defense yeah you don't know where it's already hard enough to figure out where the set's gonna go and now you can just okie doke Pete. you could be like we're going this way whoop no we're not we're going yeah. back the other way and or instead of setting you can that's gonna be chaos and put it over the net into like a dead zone yeah it's that's chaos it's throwing the whole sport off yeah i uh i love watching volleyball i i tried to play um I've tried to play volleyball a little bit, and uh, it, it dawns on me that I really don't know the rules. The rules seem pretty simple of just, yeah. like, you don't let the ball hit on your side <laughs> right? and make it hit on their side. Uh, but there there are a ton of rules. Like, you can't spike serves. That was That's a tough one for me because yeah. when you're out there playing, you know, casual volleyball and people are – and you're at the front of the net and they're just, like, underhanding it and it's coming right to you, it's really hard not to just spike the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. Um the other you can't like can you set it over if you're going for a set the other one is like someone will bump it close to me and I'm supposed to set it and it's like right by the net and I'll just do like a backwards dunk you know <laughs> like it's just coming right and I'm just like fuck it and I just tip it over like that and then everyone yells at me and says you can't do that um but yeah I I can't I never set when I play volleyball because I get yelled at that everything's illegal so maybe this is good for me because now if I play volleyball uh I'll be able to just Put some spin on the sets. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's spin some horses. Before we do, I want to talk about Land of Bad. Land of Bad is a heart-pounding, action-packed film that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Action Reloaded says, buckle up for Land of Bad, a pulse-pounding thriller. This film captures a mission that goes awry, and Liam Hemsworth plays a young JTAC airman who has to rely on a drone pilot played by Russell Crowe who is his eyes in the sky. The film shows the close-knit brotherhood that develops between soldiers. The mantra of leave no one behind is deep-rooted in all that serve. Whether you're on the combat field or doing your job from a computer screen, Land of Bad is the first time that brothers Liam and Luke Hemsworth have worked together on the big screen. On the big screen, uh, Land of Bad, now playing in theaters. Go see it, Land of Bad. Um, a little uh, soldier movie. I like, uh, you guys like, uh, yeah, of course we do. We Soldier all movies? Yeah. yeah. War movies. I watched Jarhead the day my best friend went uh, away to Marine Boot Camp. Bad mm. idea. Cried. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Cried like a little baby. That's a bad idea. Um, when, you, when you're heartbroken, do you do do we do... Uh, intentionally yeah. sad stuff? Yeah, do you do intentionally yep. sad stuff? Yeah. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> I, really, I, I, I used to do that too. I get dumped and I would just be like, all right, here's the playlist. Yep. Let's dive in. <laughs> and then you're in the middle of it and you're like, why the fuck did I do this? This was a really bad idea. Um, do you guys ever listen to just sad songs just to listen to? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like, I have a sad play on bad. my phone. Yeah, yeah, you, dude. It's I'm a very good sad songs. I'm yeah. uh, one of the worst parts about like getting older and getting my life together and like being, 
you know, in a, in a good spot with a lot of things is, uh, I miss the days when I was a sad little bitch. I do. Mm -hmm. I miss the days when like I was, I was heartbroken. Uh, I had no money. Uh, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Yeah. So like sometimes I'll just throw on songs and, uh, yeah, just take myself back there and <sighs> I should call her. <laughs> we should have a crying episode. Cry I would love that. that. You can't leave until you cry. Yeah. That's what I want to do on the, yeah. Yeah. That's like, I'm, I, I want to, I think I could cry. I think we all, I think we're all, yeah. Are, are we all bitches on the show? Yes. Yeah. We're all emotional bitches, mm -hmm. right? I can't cry. Don't call me a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you can't cry, Connor? I, well, I, I definitely can't do it on command, and it does take a lot for me to, even though, like, there are plenty of times where I've wanted to cry. I'm like, I, I don't know what's happening. It's not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it to work. You can't get it to work. <laughs> you can't get it to work. They make pills. Figure out. Okay, let's stop with this. <laughs> it's coming with out. These, I'm not trying to say it like that. You know what I mean. If you were to make yourself cry, Connor, what's the? Uh, if, if we were to say that you can't leave until you cry, what is your strategy? What's the first thing that comes to mind that you're going to try? That's a great question, Mark. Are you going with like the? Uh, uh, I gotta rekindle the the you know the young love. That, the that broke love. my heart. Are you going with like a uh, an animal death somehow? Um, yeah, yeah. Are you going with like a? There's this scene from this movie that I'm gonna watch on my phone, and maybe that'll get it done. No, because really, that was one thing we said on the show the other day. Like, I really don't cry in movies a whole lot. I'd probably think back to my my first dog. Not mm -hmm. technically not my first dog, but the first dog that like we got. Yeah. When I was growing up. Yeah. Her name was Leah. I'm not gonna cry right now. Yeah. You're looking at me what like, is it, what is it about? I'm not gonna, Leah? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cry what is right it about now. Leah? Oh, well, well, tell, tell us, tell us about Leah. What kind of breed was Leah? Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever. Yeah. And uh, I have a Golden Retriever. He's he's the best. Yeah. They're the best. They're just they are. Yeah. But I don't like this. I don't like doing this right yeah. now. Um, but you know, we we, we just your best. Traveled friend. around all together, and you know, I drive her around to the car and give her walks, and she loved peanut butter and toothpaste. Actually, she loved. Yeah. Which I don't, I don't know if that's a bad thing for dogs to have but she would like lick the toothpaste off your finger uh you know what i'm gonna miss most about Moe's is like sometimes when i'm having a bad day um he can <laughs> sense it and he would there have been times where i would just be crying because you know life would be hard and moses would would pick up on that and he would just come over and nuzzle and and it would just cheer me up and i think i'm i'm going to miss having that when when moses goes and is that something that you miss that like when life gets hard and, and you're looking for leah and you just want leah to come tell you everything's going to be okay connor she's not there and and, and it's got to make you feel you know a okay. little bit okay <laughs> now I a little bit vulnerable then, that no, like I, like your your rock that that you used to lean on is she's not even there yeah no i now yeah, i'm starting to think back to, to memories and everything and all right it's not gonna work he's all right no, but I, I do feel like it's a swelling up, but I'm also very uncomfortable at it's the moment. And I, and I want to move, right. move off of the subject. <laughs> not, All right, here's I, the... I can drastically change the topic if you want. We have a new segment on the show I, I just got the first instance of. We have, what? We what have a Blutman. No. Now. We have Breaking Blutman. Oh. oh we oh, got yes. it? Yes. The, so, uh, the Blutman ticker? <laughs> 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 Hold on, it's going the wrong way. Yeah, it is. That's a good point. Let's go there. But that that that's the feature of the Blutman ticker. Is that his face in between? Yeah. Um, I've given Blutman the keys to send me a thought whenever he wants to, and I'll. <laughs> we got a, someone wrote in with this idea that we should let Blutman just write whatever he wants on the ticker throughout the show. It's a great idea. It's going the wrong way though. Yeah. I. I think it'd just be funny to put Brandon Walker out anal glands on the ticker for a few minutes. It is a funny idea. We just got to get it going the right way. I love this. This is a great – we need to keep this for every show. The Blutman ticker, have Blutman watch the show. Anything he wants to write, it's free game, and he can just have it pop up on the screen. Um, all right, here's what here's what I want to do to end the show. Um, and I don't mean like end it like we're going to end it anytime soon, but uh, – <laughs> I wrote down five mostly things. I wrote down five sports things. Um, 
I want to spin the horses and I want to see which one of these we're going to do. Now, I don't know how to distinguish between whether we want to do mostly, do we want to do mostly horses? Do we want to do sports horses? That's what I don't understand. I never know what the people want from us. Um, I, I am more of a ball talker. Brandon is more of a silly guy. So, uh, you know, the tug of war, it works. Brandon's not here. I, I think left to my own devices, I would probably talk a little more ball, but I don't know if that's what people want. Sometimes they want to get silly. It is a Friday. People at home are feeling a little loose. Maybe maybe they want to go the mostly route. I don't know. So I prepared five of each. Um, do we want to hear what they are? Would that help? I think so. Okay. So um, the five sports things. No, I'll do the five mostly things first. The five mostly things I wrote down, and we're going to put these on horses. We're going to spin them. Whatever horse wins, we will do that uh, until it gets boring, and then we'll move on to the well, – maybe we'll spin the other horses, and we'll just kind of ride that out for the rest of the show, right? Or we'll do the sports. So here's the five mostly things. We have a scavenger hunt where uh, I am going to tell Evo and Connor to leave the, the studio and go grab – certain items and the winner will get a hundred dollars oh yeah okay that's that's one of the things uh i wanted to play ps2 i wanted to do a ps2 tournament but then i realized we only have one controller but uh all the talk of the the ncaa football game um i realized we have the ps2 we should play one of the old games but we only have one controller that's that's a huge misstep by us and it's a janky ass controller it's a Yeah, friends. That, that this is like such a fu- like. If I went to somebody's house and they had that controller, I would yeah. be such pissed. a. It looks like it's the the right controller. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's it's not. The, like, real ones. No, it's like BS two. Yeah, it's 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 not the right controller. The buttons don't feel right. No. The the weight of the controller is not it's, right. It's aftermarket. I only play um, on OEM. But more to the point, it's there's there's only one of them. So like even. Even then, like I don't know how we're gonna play each other in PS2, but I I did want to play PS2, so maybe we pivot the PS2 to uh, what Connor had brought in, which is Broussarded or Bedarded. Yeah, prepare to Broussarded or Bedarded segment. This is what you expected me to do the last time. Yeah, there when, was a game involved. That's right. Uh, so I I put together, and this is now kind of a, a mostly and a sports within itself, where I have some mostly topics where we could say Broussarded or Bedarded and yeah. sports topics too. So we're gonna we're gonna cross out the PS two. We're gonna save that for another time. Uh when we get a, when we get the right controllers. We're gonna do Broussarded or Bedarded. Um that will go under mostly. Uh I have our favorite things, um, where we just sit around and talk about our favorite things. It's that simple. It's just like it's just like you know what I like is uh fucking fucking don't tip picks yeah 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 that's, that's right that's right yeah i was about to you know what if, if we're gonna do that we gotta we gotta we gotta let the horses decide if we're gonna do that or not um i have and then staples of silly time are funny deaths and animals so those are the other two things it's just like we google we just spend you know if it land if, if the if the horse that says animal stories wins we just like google live on the air just like fun animal stories and we riff on those or we find funny deaths. We find uh, babies getting thrown in ovens, which is hilarious. <laughs> Just a classic, classic, hilarious way to go. Accidentally dropped into an oven. Accidentally <laughs> dropped into an oven. Those are the mostly horses. These sports horses we have are uh, mostly sports international, um, which I'm trying to get this brand off the ground. Uh, mostly sports international. I think we pull up a randomized country generator we 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 figure out a random ass country and then we just like Google what's going on in their country in the world of sport. We just Google that country plus sports and see what pops up. Uh, I have an idea called a takeoff where we all have to share a take, a sports take that we feel is original, but we also think that everybody in the room will like. And uh, if you can't do it, you're out. And then we just see who's got the most takes um, that are good. Because I do think I do think we all would be pretty good at that. Um, I have our favorite things again, where we just talk about our favorite <laughs> things in sports. Um, I have Con- I wrote down Connor charades, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is Connor just acts out some of the best moments in sports history, and we have to figure out which one he's talking about, which one he's acting out. I like that a lot. Yeah. Could you do that? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. You 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 reenact a play, and we have to figure out what play it is. I'm down. <laughs> I would love to do that. Um, 
And then the last one I wrote down is toss the ball around and talk about chicks. All of these are great. Which is topics. like, you know, just a classic Friday. I think it's a classic Friday thing. It's just like the boys, we just, we just, you know, we just throw the football around and we're just fucking, you know, talking about chicks, man. <laughs> so on the quad. Yeah. Just, yeah. We're just, yeah. Just talking about chicks and, 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 uh, and what we're doing this weekend and, and chicks and that's it. Yeah. So, uh, what do we want to do? Mostly or sports? How do we decide this? Do we do we let the the family decide? Do we Good. decide ourselves? Do we do we spend? Do we horse for, we horse yeah. for the horses? Mm-hmm. We should horse for the horses. Do two horses? Flip the horses. Flip the flip the horses, and then we'll spin the horses. Flip the horses, just spin the horses. Flip it, flip it around. Pop right. it. <laughs> Twist it. <laughs> Yell it. Suck it. Dun 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 dun. Remember Bop It Week in the New York? Bop office? It Week in New York office was great. We need to bring back Bop It. Yeah, Bop, Bop It, be... and we played Bop It every day for an hour for like one week, and then never played ever again. Oh, that's Bop It is one of the greatest toys. I have a Bop It at home. Oh, do you? An OG. Yeah, we we talked about Bop It on the show for like two seconds, and then my mom, the next time I saw her, she she brought <laughs> a Bop It from the attic. My parents' attic. Yeah. We just should do a show from my parents' attic at some point because <laughs> they have my mom's attic. Yeah, they just like literally every time I see them, they're just like, "Here's another box of shit," and then I'm just digging through it. I'm like, w- "What is in this attic that you have signed Dale Jr. pictures and boppets?" And it's a magical place. Well, your, your mom also dug up the the 24 game for me when I brought that up on the show. How I used to play the 24 card game. I forgot my mom was bringing you gifts, Connor. Is that funny to you? Is that a, is that? No, I, I that, my, want... that my mom is bringing you gifts. No, she was a nice lady. I was just adding on to what you said. I mm. appreciate that a lot. She's is that what, a nice lady? Is that what we're doing, Connor? We're talking about each other. Or you're just gonna talk about my mom like that? It's <laughs> no. fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. Hey, God forbid we talk about somebody else's mom on this show. It's fucked up. Um, <laughs> all right, flip the horses. Let's see what we're doing. I love this. I love this so much, and I shouldn't. Every time we do this, this works out poorly for me. We haven't done it in a while, though. I know. We really haven't. Since Christmas. Yeah, probably. So this music oh, like this a- is a great race. This is... Five, four... Oh, oh! oh! Mostly! It's mostly. It All was, right. Yeah, I, think, I think that's what most people probably want. It's, it's mostly. mostly. No one's taking the name for uh, the horse, mostly sports, right? That is a good horse name. That's a great horse name. That Here is comes good, mostly sports. That's a good horse name. Um, damn it. I'm going to have to wait even longer to launch mostly sports international now. <laughs> Sad. And I wanted to see. I, I really wanted to toss the ball around and talk about chicks. Maybe we could Maybe we could just do that after the show. Uh, all right. So here are the horses we're doing. Um, we are doing scavenger hunt. Uh we are doing Broussarded Bedarded. We are doing our favorite things. Uh we are doing animal stories. And we are doing funny deaths. <laughs> <laughs> Where uh I think I think I think we just literally Google those two words, funny deaths, and then hit enter, and then we just see what comes up. Um that's what we're doing. And we are going to spin the horses. And I want it to be scavenger hunt so badly. Do you have an idea of like what the items are that we need to... Uh, I, yeah, we can figure it out. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, we didn't get the siren. We have uh, funny deaths out to an early lead. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun for everybody? I didn't realize you were going to actually name them. That's another great horse name. Funny yeah, Death. Here comes Funny Death. Here comes Funny Death. I think anything's a good These are all good horse names. Yeah. Any, started any. or bedarded? Oh, here we go. Scavenger, scavenger, oh, scavenger Hunt. Hunt. Scavenger Hunt. Hunt. Scavenger Hunt wants it. But here comes Funny Death. Funny Death. Oh, oh, oh scavenger, scavenger Hunt. Hunt. Scavenger yeah. Hunt. Here we go. All right, so. Scavenger Hunt. We're doing a scavenger hunt. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, content purposes of this game, each of you just start recording on your your phone. Yeah. This has to be Ebo versus Connor, obviously. Um, now, the problem with a scavenger hunt between these two guys is that one of them is going to try so much harder than the other. 
<laughs> I think at their core, one of them is like, let's fucking go right now. The other is like, this is the dumbest shit ever, and uh, I cannot wait for the... For... Connor wore basketball shoes today because he yeah, knew this was happening. Specifically for the scavenger hunt. So uh, I am going to give $100 to the winner. This is my way of incentivizing <laughs> Ebo to, to give a damn. Um, if you win... If you come back here first with all of these items, I will give you a hundred dollars. This is a real one hundred dollar bill that we are putting right here, right in the middle of the table. Um. All right, so scavenger hunt. Let's think about what you could bring back. Um. TJ, you can help with this too if you want. I. I think. I want to. I'll bring back. Uh. Bring back a penny. I think a penny, we're putting that on the list because I feel like that is something that should be outside of this door. But who's going to have a penny? I don't know. Okay. Um, I think uh, I'm uh, trying to think of what's in the office that uh, you could um, find, but also is not like... Each of you have to find something that's from another state or area and whoever brings back something from further away... Gets a point for that item. Okay. Okay. So okay. Hold on. No. 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 So like, so if we got to lay out the like, rules because if, like it... Connor brings back like a mariner's hat, and Evo brings back like a a Chinese basketball jersey. He would claim. A point. Okay. You're looking for the furthest thing away from Chicago. Okay. But so what do the points do? So is this a points thing or a time thing? I don't know. Wouldn't it be or is it both? Maybe you oh. can. You get like a, a time deduction based off how far away it is. Yeah, you get um, whoever whoever's is further away gets a ten second deduction. Is that enough? Probably would have to be thirty. Thirty second yeah, deduction. Thirty seconds. You get a thirty second deduction. I, I there might be a wide gap in the times that I finish versus Ebo finishing. Okay, so we're doing I like penny. That, that's funny. The yeah. the idea of like running around trying to find a penny in this office. That might this be the hardest fun. thing. That might be the hardest thing. Or it might be the easiest. There might be one on that desk right out there. Um ketchup packet. <laughs> a ketchup packet. <laughs> sauce packet. We'll take sauce packet. All right. A sauce packet. Uh I think We'll do it this way. Instead of uh, we'll we'll I, I like TJ's idea. I'm just confused by the time. I don't know what an appropriate deduction would be. So what if bring back something uh, from bring back something that has the logo of a Pac-12 school on it? Okay. There's surely something in this office. Any Pac-12 school will do. The Pac-12 logo itself will do. I want one item of any kind that has a Pac-12 logo on it. Okay. That's because that's from far away. Yeah. That, uh, Chad, take note that. Ebo's writing this down, and Connor isn't. I don't need. I have memory. I'm totally good on this. It's <laughs> so we have we any have any packet in Pac-12. So um, no item from a further state. Any packet, packet. Uh, a Pac-12, a Pac-12 item, a sauce packet, and a penny. Yes. Um, I think a prop from a barstool show, a different barstool show. Um, that none of us, that none of us work on. It can't be a show that you specifically work on. Okay. Um. But it has to be a prop that the audience, if they watch that show, they'll know if that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So we have four P's right now. Penny packet pack twelve prop. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Easy to remember. I don't know. Um and then uh and then a coworker whose name starts with P. <laughs> Which is just Paige. <laughs> Whoever can find Paige first. <laughs> yeah. Is that the only No. Part? Uh what uh? What else? There's one. What, there's we got to do one more thing. Hmm. hmm. Uh, somebody suggested a shoe of a specific size. Yep. Yep. I like that. A a size. Ten, eleven. What size do you guys wear? Uh, nine and a half. Thirteen. Thirteen. Let's call it uh, an eleven then, right? A size eleven shoe might be tough, but yeah. We'll make do. All right, those are the five things. All right, so it's it's penny, it's a sauce packet, it is a Pac-12 logo, it is a prop from a barstool show that you don't work on, and that you have to. It can't just be you can't just run into the part of my take set, 
grab something, not know what it really is, and then come back and try to argue that this is a prop from part of my take. You have to, it has to be like, this is from this moment or like, this is, you know, something that people remember. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Is that, we understand that part. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then a size 11 shoe. Those are the five items. Okay. <laughs> okay. So are we filming ourselves like selfie version of us running through the halls or what are we doing in terms of filming? What do you think is best? Um, yeah, I guess go selfie and then like turn the can like yeah. turn the phone when you find stuff. I'll get <sighs> What are we going to do while they're gone? I didn't think about that. You could buy just... that PlayStation out. Oh, I yeah. play PlayStation. Yeah, play NCAA football. Dude, I should play NCAA football. That's That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. All right. All right. Are we ready? I'm. A, we're gonna. Ebo gets a. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Ready. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Go. <laughs> and they're off. Uh, I love this. <laughs> I just wish we could watch them as they're doing it, but. <laughs> uh, I had to. I had to incentivize. It. Th that's a good call, right? I had to put a hundred dollars on the line because otherwise, Ebo would go out there, just sit at his desk. Yeah, you said Browse his phone. Ebo's there was a yeah. fire behind. Ebo's, Ebo's locked right. in now for a hundred dollars. Otherwise, Connor would. Connor it did not change his enthusiasm for this whatsoever. No. Ebo would have just sat down and been like, "Whatever, I don't care." Um, and now he's gonna try. I'm gonna play. Let's see here. Let me get these sports video games out that we got. Uh, I we don't do this enough. I don't know. We played Tiger Woods at one day and it was fun and. Uh, we have NCAA football 03 with Joey Harrington on the cover, um, who I got dinner with randomly and uh, when he came to Chicago. That was a very random dinner with Joey Harrington and Donnie and PFT. Uh, we have NCAA football 06 with Desmond Howard on the cover. We have that one. We have NCAA football 02 with Chris Winky on the cover. Uh, I don't remember which one of these are better than the other. Um, oh, here we go. NCAA Football 07 with Reggie Bush on the cover. So what's the what's the plan here, TJ? Should I play the newest one, the oldest one? Um, uh, the the one with my favorite guy on the cover? Yeah, it should probably that. be Joey Harrington. I was a big Joey Harrington guy. Um, I'll do that. I'll play 03 for, for Joey. Uh, let me see here. But wait, if if I want to play with Joey, I should play O two. Right, because right? he's were on. Or they were out. Yeah, fuck it, I'll just play O three. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go to the other side. Right on through. Good. Yeah, yeah. We gotta do uh, What's the uh? What's the plan with this uh? With this recliner, by the way. I don't know, cause it is funny that it's in the way, but it also is in the way. It is very much in the way, and it is not that funny. <laughs> right. Uh, all right. We're playing some. I was never a uh, stack the, turn the, the, I was never a vertical. Me neither. It feels, whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit! All right. I got Vandy Woodhead. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is incredible. This is. I might be disqualified. Ebo, I didn't even, I didn't even. I have an Arizona State size 11 shoe. Oh, shit. Fuck, it's 11 and a half. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh. Penny. Sauce packet. <laughs> he brought back a penny. Oh, he got a. I see what he did. Penny. He got a penny, a jersey penny. I don't know. I think I. I think we have to allow that. I thought those were called pennies. Pe peonies. Like I, the... my entire life, I thought those were called p i n n i e s. P i n. Penny. I don't know. Are they called no, pennies? Got... I I always thought they were just called pennies. Like uh. Maybe you're right. No, you're right, dude. Yes. Let's go. That would have been a huge L on my take. Do you not pronounce it, Penny? I think I... 
Maybe mentally do. <laughs> how, do you, how do you verbally? Wait, it comes up. How do you ver- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I mentally do. <laughs> what, <how> do you- <laughs> Wait, youth pennies, pennies. See? Oh, it's spelled both ways? I- what? I need to know. I, I We might have to let the chat decide if. Now I don't. Now I don't know if I should fire up NCAA football or not. Like this feels like it's not going to take that long. Evo is out of breath. All right, I'm gonna. It's a great jacket, by the way. Arizona State. I'm gonna put the game back in. You're right, though. Stacking the PlayStation, I always felt was like bad etiquette. Yeah, I don't understand it. I don't understand why we. I always felt like my discs were gonna fall and get scratched. I hated kids that did like the stack of raw discs on the side of the PlayStation. Oh yeah. I yeah. took very good care of my. Yeah, kid, you gotta, obviously. you gotta take care of the discs. Um. All right. How do we... There's no way. Dude, he's back. He's back. He's back. All right, let me let me see it. Connor is beside himself in the hallway. That is a size eleven. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stephanie size eleven. Hold on. We didn't specify men's hold on. size eleven. Men's nine, women's eleven. Okay. Born by a woman. I need where's Stephanie? We I have to I I have to know that these are Stephanie's. We have to prove that these are Stephanie's. That these are, in fact, penny. Oh, you got a penny too. Yeah. Stephanie, are these your shoes? Yeah, they are. She's just look. She's she's shoeless. Can't see. I think Ebo just won. I had two pennies too. That's incredible. Shout out Stephanie. Shout out Stephanie. Um. So Ebo, you brought in the the Vanny Woodhead. Yep. Uh. Which PMT. I, I think I need to get that back immediately. Yeah, I I feel like this is. Um. <laughs> yeah, you, you just like you stole the Declaration of Independence. Yeah. <laughs> um, where did the jacket come from? Uh, Jack McCarthy was wearing that today. Really? Yeah. All right, here's Connor. Connor, you just lost. You just lost in a blowout. What did what did you what did oh. you get? Keyblade. I only got three. I got an Oregon hat. I got a uh, hot sauce packet. And then I got whatever this is from the anus studio. That's a keyblade <laughs> from Kingdom Hearts. There you go. But, the, but you could. You, did, you didn't. I, I could not find a penny. Couldn't find and a prop. Stephanie betrayed me. This, this is the prop right here. But you don't even know what it's from. That's what I said. I, I specifically said you got to like know what it's from. and like From anus. But like in, in like what context? Next to anus. In what, in what context? They they have this hanging up in their studio. They, <laughs> they got it. They got it. They they got it sent to them, <laughs> and they've taken pictures with Tommy Walker. And I don't know if my ass is showing right now. <laughs> yeah, it is. It very much is. Oh, I'm gonna go return this stuff. But um, yeah, I'm really let down by that. That's oh a bummer. my god! Can I actually hold the keyblade for a little bit? <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Welcome. Go, Evo. I I am stunned at how fast Evo did that. Crazy. Crazy, and he found a penny. Was there collusion? Was Ebo? I would have assumed everybody would have helped Connor, but the fact that the the McCarthy and and Stephanie are just like taking clothes off and throwing them to Ebo is interesting. Interesting to say the least. Yeah, I would have I would have expected Ebo to get more resist. Dude, what a performance, Ebo! Here you go, hundred dollars. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even get a. I didn't even. I I I turned on the game. I have. We haven't even flipped it over to the thing yet. Like that's how fast you did that. I I thought this was gonna take so long that I'm gonna get a full NCAA football 2003 game in. Okay, okay, yeah. We didn't even turn it on. I'm gonna go give Jack McCarthy his jacket back. He might be cold. And Penny, the Penny back to Stephanie Keith. All right, scavenger hunt success. I feel like a winner. Yeah. What is the keyblade again? Kingdom Hearts. 
What, so what is the Keyblade? <laughs> it's a PS2 game uh, where, like, the Disney characters fight alongside this kid, and this is, like, his weapon in the game. Oh, I got you. I actually haven't played it, but I know it. Connor, uh, talk to us. No, no, no. He got I mean, a real pin. He got, he got double pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but first of all, creative thinking outside the box, I probably would have counted that. Um, secondly... Yeah, I, I he blew you out, dude. I know. Well, I think there's only one person in this office who has a size 11 shoe, and it would be Stephanie. Although, was she... Was that women's size? Two of them. Damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. What was the hardest... Well, I didn't thing? even ask. Tice, are you size 11? I am, yeah. I am size 11. No, I, I'm, I'm 14. Come on, man. I'm, uh, I'm sweating. Me too, yeah. I'm 14. I gotta... Did you even fire up the game? Yeah, I, I put it in, I turned it on, and uh, before we could even change it to the, the, the TV to the right channel, Ebo came bursting through the door with all of his items. Ebo also ran me over in the staircase. That's not completely true. Completely bulldozed. That's not true. As I was trying that's, to get the, out of the, there. The film will come out. That's not true. You guys are recording yourselves? Yeah. I got yeah. to see the, the footage. And Cody's got the footage. Mine yeah. is uh, pretty tight to my face. Yeah, I'm just out of breath in mine. <laughs> The second you said penny, I was like, I'm not getting an actual penny. That's impossible. So I went and got that. No, that was, that was smart. I think, uh, I think TJ enlightened me, though, that, that the, the spelling of penny is P-I-N-N-I. This one? Yeah. Uh, e. I did not realize I, that, It seems but. like both are used online, but I always called those pennies. Yeah. No. Pennies. Penny. Pennies. P-I-N-N-I. Um, all right. Well, there we go. That Evo was, wins $100. That was fun. We might have to do that again when Brandon's here. We might have to. We I might have to figure out a way to. There's a massive shoot going on in the kitchen. I was just screaming on the court. So Wait, was like, that a shoot? I, I I think so. So I would like to apologize to <laughs> Chaps. Pardon my take. And I'd like to apologize to Pardon my take again for stealing the uh, only piece remaining of their uh, of, of Vanny Woodhead. Woodhead. Yeah. Um, I did give it back, but I would like to apologize. Um, I, that was pretty. Bold. I would not, I would like to not get fired today. So that was pretty bold. To there there are a lot of props you could have. I could have gone anywhere. You could have technically just grabbed a basketball and said it's a prop from the 41. Jerry After Dark. Jerry After Dark. Yeah. He, he did the he did his three-point shooting thing. Yeah. I feel really bad if that was actually a shoot because I yelled out. I asked Ryan. I was like, Ryan, what size shoe do you have? Uh, is it 11? He said no. And I literally said, fuck you, Ryan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, loud. I didn't realize that there was a shoot going on. So I I apologize if that ruined anything. Uh, all right. Um, let's well spin done, the horses Evo. again. Well done, Ebo. Let's spin the the remaining horses. You killed it, Ebo. That was impressive. Enjoy the hundred dollars. The video is too long to send. Is it? I think I just. Uh, there we go. Anal glands. Wait, the ticker's still wrong. The ticker can't go left. It's a Jalen Brown ticker. Fan asked me to put boobs <laughs> on the ticker. <laughs> So here you go, fan. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> this is a great future. Brandon Brandon's going to be so upset that he wasn't here when we launched this, but uh, he's going to love it when we when he comes back. How how is have, have we heard Brandon's anal glands? Have we heard how those are doing? No. Um, I thoughts, did. thoughts and prayers to Brandon. Um, we do make fun of Brandon a lot on this show, but I, I do know that this is a this is a rough thing for him to to have to go through. Every time it happens, he's he is distraught, and it is going to ruin his weekend. So if you could, uh, if everybody could, you know, show some love to Brandon, tweet at him, DM him, um, and just let him know that that we're all thinking about him and and hope that his anal glands are send are okay. him the uh, Demar heart emoji. Yeah, the Demar heart emoji. <laughs> thinking of you and your anal glands. <laughs> uh all right bring the horses back up do we I have spin mostly our sports again or do i spin the i think we stick with the mostly i think we just okay. i think mostly won that race we're just gonna ride out the mostly uh we have my remaining options we have broussarded or bedarded we have our favorite things um we have and funny animals we have animal stories funny animal videos just animals in general and we have funny deaths because animals and deaths are two of the staples of silly time on the show. So, uh, if the animals win, can we can we start with the duck? Yeah, yeah, we'll watch the okay. duck. We'll watch the corgi. 
We'll try to find some other funny animal videos. We'll take requests or submissions, I should say. Um, all right, let's do it. Let's let's spin the uh, the mostly horses. Love it. Animal videos out to an early lead. I want Broussard and Bedard to win. I want to see what Connor has cooked up. Very basic. Funny deaths. Funny deaths. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Animal videos. Oh. Damn. There we go. I like that. <laughs> All right. Let's uh. Let's start with the duck, right? Start with the duck. The. Which ones do we have to do? We have to do the duck. We have to do the corgi. Um. We have to do, I don't know if you guys know about this video, but there's a video of a horse playing baseball what? that I would love to show the audience. Um, what else? What else? Uh, we can just search. We can just search for animal videos, too. Like Maybe we, we figure out some other ones that we want to add to the rotation. Um, I don't know. We should try that um, that new AI video thing where you just give it a prompt and see if we can make Carl Ham play baseball. Yeah, because he'll that's never a, great, that's a horse a could idea. never a horse could play baseball in real life, but a, a pig could never. There we go, <laughs> <laughs> sassy duck. There's always one. <laughs> that's <is> great. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> hey, what are we walking? Oh, yeah, we're walking. Yeah, let's walk. Walking around. Let's walk. Yeah, we got all these covering all this ground. We could we could be there in two seconds if we flew, but we had we just had to walk. We had to be a good team building exercise, is what they said. What if we all just walk together? It's a great video. Um, by the way, I want to see the uh, corgi. What? I my outfit. I'm wearing it partially because uh, it's basketball day. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a dress down day, sweats and everything. Uh, I'm fully hammed out. If you think about it, well, I'm wearing my my honey. I can't baked, see what you're wearing. That's I'm wearing my I'm honey baked confused. ham sweatpants, and then I have a shirt from the Smoking Pig in uh, Clemson, South Carolina. Phenomenal barbecue joint. And on the back, it says, uh, "Every butt deserves a good rub," and it's just a bunch of pig butts. <laughs> and so I got. So you're this is this is like a Carl Ham nod yeah. is what you're saying an homage yeah uh Connor last week you dressed up for for basketball and did not play one second of basketball yeah um what unintentional happened, what happened there I had a, a phone call with a student who was like reaching out like a networking type of thing from Penn State who I got set up with through a professor and they wanted to talk and like ask questions and everything. So I was having a call with them and then uh, that went on way longer than expected. And then I had to get to my work for a second and then it wound up where I came downstairs ready to play and everybody was done. Everybody was gone. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought we'd still be playing. So I, incredible. Yeah. I do have another uh, phone call after this that I have to take, but then hopefully that's wrapped. Cause up. you dress up for, for pickup basketball every, every, every Friday. Friday. I haven't uh, played in a month. Yeah, I, I I play every so often, and I think you and I have been on the court at the exact same time for maybe one game ever. Yeah. Um, and it was fun at first because I, I got a steal off of you when I pushed the fast break. Sorry, what? I got a steal off of you. It was a jump ball. Oh, there was also that one, too. No, I, then I got two steals, technically. Whoa, 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 it was a jump ball. But then, no, no, but then ultimately I wound up running. It was out simultaneous of gas. possession, Connor. No, no, no. There was we go to the arrow. No, no, no. You, you tried to. There was another play where you tried to uh, throw it to somebody on the wing. I picked it off, and then we had a two on one fast break where I went hee hee, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you went what? I went hee hee. Why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> have you ever seen? Have you ever I seen went, that old? I went, he, he. You ever seen that old Magic Johnson clip where he's talking about uh, how he how he dishes it off? I, mean, I guess I'm the only one. But I know what you're talking. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. But but you you see the 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 
The problem here, Connor, is that he is Magic Johnson, and you are not. And I think that's the issue we have. I think when Magic Johnson said it, it's it was much cooler. It was it was cool. When yeah. you did it, it was uh, it was Connor. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I, I had like a nice dish to somebody on a two on fast break, and, uh, and you we scored like, off of it. Do we have the the corgi video yeah. ready? But then yeah, I ran um, out of gas, and you dominated the rest of the game. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. This is an instant go, mood booster go. for me. This is. Go. Oh my go. god! You got it, buddy. You got it. Does this remind you of Leah at all? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> this remind you of when Leah used to jump in the water. We actually we never really got her in water a whole lot. She had a little kiddie pool that we would fill up every now and then, but she, we never yeah. took her to like lakes or beaches or anything. Really, is that a regret you have? No. The, you never gave Leah no. the life that maybe she wanted? I really went to beaches. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, Titus, but you are the key. Like, that's how every dog food commercial is marketed to you. Yeah. Like, if you watch TV, Food food for Humans is marketed as, oh, look at this delicious thing that's going to be right. tasty and fill your hunger. And then every dog food commercial is just, you are the worst owner imaginable. Right. Um, if you don't start giving your dog Wagyu beef... Yeah, you might as well yeah. give it back. Yeah, yeah, your dog is. There will be a day where your dog will die, and uh, you are going to hate yourself because you did not feed your dog. You're going to wonder if could is there something I could have done more, and the answer is yes. You could have spent more money on dog food. So please buy this dog food. Um, you want to watch the Bat Dog E60 documentary? That might make Connor cry if it's. Oh bad. yeah, yeah. Give me. Uh, no, I take it back. I don't want to give this uh, my uh, an assignment to myself over the weekend. I was going to say, give me a movie where I, I would cry in. Uh, but Toy Story 3. I did not cry in that one, but I did get very emotional in the incinerator scene. Wally. Wally, I cried. Uh, He's good. Remember the Titans. <sighs> Actually, remember the Titans. Remember the I Titans. came very close. Um, We watched uh, Steel Magnolias. The the none of you have seen that movie. The other day it was Valentine's Day actually. Uh we we <laughs> complete misunderstanding of what that movie was. And I was under the impression that Julie every movie Julie Roberts was in is like a rom com of some sort. So I was like, Yeah, this would be a great movie for Valentine's Day. Absolutely not. It was not. <laughs> it was very sad. Uh Dolly Parton cried at that one. Dolly Parton is awesome in that. Dolly Parton is whew, whew, in that movie. Um Let's see. That's my official statement. Woo! Put that on the record, Connor. That okay. I put that officially on the record. That Dolly Parton and Steel Magnolias is. Woo! Uh, Titanic is a sad one. It's uh, it is a sad one. I think I think I would cry if I watched Titanic again. You wouldn't cry at Titanic? Nah. Um, I've seen it too many times. <laughs> you know what's coming. <laughs> no, I know what's coming. I knew I knew the, I knew the ship was going down. There's gonna be some bullshit about, you know. Some people in the water are cold and some bullshit like that. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you need a movie that you've never seen. Correct. That that you would cry. But if we tell you you're going to cry, yeah, your guard is up. Like uh, That's the problem. Is it the Green Mile with Tom Hanks? Yeah. Like the execution scene? Yeah. Like, I, I haven't seen that movie, but I know that moment is coming. So Past Lives is a newer one that just came out. That's very sad. Very good movie though. Okay, Marley and Me. I Marley actually I have I never cried Marley, Marley and Me, which is a um, psycho thing, but I never did. <laughs> is there an old Yeller movie? Well, uh, I don't know what old Yeller is. I'll be honest. Is that a book? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'll look into it. Movie. It we'll, is a movie. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's a it's a old Yeller is the the quintessential. Uh, I have to shoot my dog movie, right? Right. I yeah, know that. The, I know this, that they shoot the dog. I don't know where that came from, though. Yeah, it's old Yeller. It's uh, we we got to take it behind yeah. the shed and shoot him right in the face. I think they shoot him in the Jeez. face, right? It's a big summer reading. Yeah, yeah. It was a book. It's a movie. Um, and it's sad. Uh, what other animal stuff? Or should we spin? Should we spin the horses again? Or should we just get out of here? I guess we could just get out. I don't know. I have something. I, I feel like I feel like we didn't. I want to do Broussarded or Bedarded. I think we it? should. I think we should just do it. Okay. I think we should just do it. Connor prepared it. Uh, but it, this was the approach that I again I should have taken the first time where I just threw something together on a whim, instead of uh, you know, 
cooking up an entire murder mystery for hours and hours on end. So it's not like it's a super prepared thing. But, yeah, well, we could play it a little bit. Brassard or Bedarded, five sports topics, five okay. mostly topics, just like everyday scenarios. Uh, for anybody new to the game, uh, if I'll say something, they'll say it's either Brassarded or Bedarded. If it's Brassarded, it's something that is stupid and we don't it, you want to take you want to take your it's something so stupid that it resembles Chris Chris Broussard's cousin and you want to take it <laughs> behind the the shed and shoot it in the face okay yeah and then you want to put it down you want to put th this idea is so stupid that I want to put it down but darted obviously is in reference to uh you say it Connor but Connor's mom uh <laughs> where this idea is so good I want to fuck it yeah. Okay. I want to fuck this idea. It's a it's such a good idea. I want to fuck this idea. Um, so yeah, that's that's Broussarded or Bedarded. It's a pretty simple. It's a pretty simple game, but right. uh, you know, I do think I do think we should explain it. Yeah. So just a basic uh, few topics that I've put together. First topic: sports. Uh, Broussarded or Bedarded? Position players pitching in baseball. When it gets to uh, the game where you run out of pitchers. Okay. Um, Broussard or Bedarded. I'm going to say that is that's Bedarded to me. That's Bedarded. I I do think it is like baseball is such a long season. Uh, we we need enough instances of things that are that feel a little different, that feel a little special. Uh, I I understand that uh, once you've kind of seen it once, it, it's always sort of the same thing. It is always kind of like. Every position player pitching is sort of he's just lobbing it up there and um yeah the, the like once you've seen it a couple times the novelty is worn off but I I do think throughout the course of a baseball season uh that is noteworthy and especially if he gets a strikeout or he gets a guy to just to simply swing and miss throwing an in an ephus uh is funny and noteworthy so I I say this is uh I say this is bedarded yeah okay anybody else I I think it's Bruce Arded and. That pains me to say because at the end of my baseball career, I was a position player pitching. When we were losing by, like, 20, they'd be like, eh, just get out there and toss some junk at the guy. So I would go in and pitch. But uh, you're basically forfeited at that point. Why not just yeah. Like, the season is very long. Like, just walk off the field if you're down by 10 and you have a first baseman pitch. Yeah, we should normalize forfeiting and quitting. We should normalize in sports – uh, if if you feel like you're not going to win the game, just pull your team off the court and the yeah. field and just say we're done here. <laughs> I think we should normalize that. Ebo, um, I like. I'm gonna say it's bedarded, but only in the instance that the guy really tries. For example, Chris Davis came to a game for the Orioles one time and was throwing 88 miles an hour two seamers and throwing splitters. If they're trying to do weird stuff, yeah, maybe they were a college pitcher or something. That's bedarded. Otherwise, bedarded. You're you're anti like Anthony Rizzo. Uh, every every guy on the other team that comes up is boys with Rizzo, and he's laughing at them, and they're laughing, and, and then he's, yeah, he's lobbing some pitches across the plate and gets a guy to swing and miss, and then the batter's laughing, and pointing at him, and he's pointing back at that. You're 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 saying that is bedarded. Yeah, uh, yeah. That having fun in sports is yeah. bedarded. Yeah. All right. I, I I hate it. I think it's bedarded. Okay. I'm I'm with it. You should just forfeit the game. Um, all right, football. The fumble out of the end zone touchback rule. Ooh, good one, Connor. Is it Broussarded or Bedarded? Uh, that's Broussarded to me. I think I think I'm pro. Uh, put the ball back where it was, or like put the ball. I don't know what I am. I don't know. I I, I I'm pro whatever argument I heard most recently, except the argument to keep the rule. <laughs> Any, I'm pro whatever fix I just heard. Whatever fix someone came up with that was like, the way you do it is you do this. And I'm like, that's a great idea. They should do it that way. Um, what is what are, what are some of the popular fixes? Like, where where you fumbled the ball, we just put it back there? Yeah. Um, I mean, well, it wouldn't be where it Put it at the 20-yard line? That would like, because like, it's a the touchback compromise. for the other team, but instead of doing it in that, like, put it at the 20-yard line, but it's still the offense's ball. So you get penalized a little bit. Um, I think you should automatically get it, even if it was on first, second, or third down. Fourth and goal from the twenty. Fourth and goal from the twenty. That's a good. That's yeah. You get the ball back, but like, you get one shot to. It's a ball don't lie situation. 
It's like if you if you feel like you should you deserve to have the ball back, prove it by scoring a touchdown on this play, or mm-hmm. you could kick a field goal, I guess. Um, otherwise, it's the other team's ball. I like that, mm-hmm. but I hate the rule. I hate the rule. I don't know how everybody else feels, but I I do hate that rule. I love it. You love it. I yeah, I do. I I, I do <sighs> think it's bedarded. Because if you're if you're the defense in that scenario, you think you're dead in the water. Like, oh, shit, they're absolutely going to score. Oh, wait a second. They fumbled out of the end zone. Also, I just like it as a general fan, maybe who doesn't have a rooting interest in the game. It does spark some controversy, and it's like, holy shit. Oh, you just like controversy. No, you, I, just I, like, you just want you just want to argue. That's what it is. You just want, you just, you just want to give them something to talk about, Connor. I, I think it does create a lot of excitement, and especially if you are the team that is being – uh, benefited from the fumble out of the end zone. It's awesome. It's just it's just not consistent with the rest of like if that was the case, then when you fumble out of the out of the uh, off the sideline, that should be the rule. That, I guess that's my issue. Is like if if it, if you fumble out of bounds and don't recover it on offense, you should always lose the ball, or you should never lose the ball. Okay. And and having the the mix. Uh oh, just now Stephen A. Smith calls out Zion Williamson. It's not about his game. It's about how many burgers. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real quote. That's I don't know. I love the Bloodman ticker. Yeah. This is the Bloodman this is, ticker. We gotta we gotta go in the right way. Yeah, yeah, this is great. This is great. This is a great addition to the show. Really fast, I think. Um, what does this look like? Oh. Oh whoa whoa. Yeah, it's too fast. There's there's a middle. Can it go faster? There's a mi- yeah. Like making it go very fast would be like. would be funny, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who can read that? Ray King News. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right, what else, Connor? Brassarded, brassarded, or bedarded, uh The one and done rule in basketball. I don't know if you have a strong take about this. Uh, that's that's. That's absolutely brassarded, and uh, yes. it's an NBA rule. It's not a college basketball rule. And one of my pet peeves is that the casual basketball fan pins this on the NCAA or pins this on college basketball or, you know, you, you bitch about how you don't like college basketball, and then you say they got to do something about the one-and-done rule. College basketball did not do this. There is no one-and-done rule in college basketball. It is purely an NBA rule. Um, they're not going to get rid of it, though. They're They're going to keep it because – uh, the the players' union's not going to get rid of it, but I hate it. It's it's very stupid, and I don't I don't hate it for, I don't even really care about the college basketball part of it. Um, I care about the NBA part of it. That like if it 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 doesn't make sense that if if you are talented enough to go to the NBA, I loved when high school guys were going straight to the NBA. It was awesome, and you had to, it was awesome to argue with your friends about how good players were because, uh trying to determine how good like Tyson Chandler is when you're watching him just dunk on everybody nonstop. He's just dunking on like six foot four white guys. And you're like, I, I think this guy's the greatest player of all time. And you're like, no, he's not, dude. He gets to the league. He's going to suck. That was a fun thing to do. Um, and I want to bring that back. So I want high school players to be able to go straight to the NBA. Are we all unified on that take? I think it's yeah, started as fuck. It's Broussarded. It's yeah. definitely some Broussarded shit. I think um, I do think there could be something cool if you do it, like Major League Baseball maybe does it a little bit. Maybe you can go out of high school, but once you go to college, you got to go there for two years or something like that. Maybe. Yeah, that would be that would be better for college basketball. But I, the 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 transfer portal though is already created because like the idea of of making guys stay in college is that you want to see. Like these five stars that go to Kentucky, like what if they were there for a couple years and we got familiar with them at Kentucky? But the reality is that you would get a class of five stars at Kentucky. You'd get like, you know, four of them that are that are five stars. Year two, one of them's probably transferring. One of them is probably like, I want to be the man on my team. I don't want to be the fourth best player on this team. Um so I don't know. I don't know if it would actually I just I wish there was it was one thing. Like I'm I'm very done with like the overtime elites of the world. Yeah. I don't know if that's the yeah. Thing, but, uh, well, Adam's there's, there's that one kid that I makes me a little the, the Eli Ellis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice kid he pops just, up all yeah. but that is like, like fifty points. He's a night another now. like Mac McClung situation. Where, yeah, he's like six one. Like he's not going to. Where Mac McClung's highlight tape. Yeah, you thought he would 
yeah be an nba all-star but uh i don't know how to watch the games i just see them on tiktok the broadcasts are sloppy the commentary sucks there's no fans there it, and this is like where like all the next stars are supposed to be and also like are any of the overtime guys crushing it not really uh, NBA. No, the was it the thompson brothers thompson and brothers jalen green i think Silver Kidding. said that they're G League Ignite thinking about yeah, yeah. Getting, getting rid of G League Ignite. G League Ignite sucks, um, which it always did. It's always sucked, but yeah, it's not the, a true developmental team. It's just no, throw, it never throw was. These yeah, fresh it was, bucks it was always yeah. I mean, it's it's Adam Silver hates college basketball and he hates college basketball because Duke fell off. That's really all it is. I mean, Adam Silver is a Duke guy and Duke fell off and Coach K fell off and he's just, and he's taking it out on college basketball. Um, you see right through the charade. I mean, like it's. It's clear as day. Uh, all right, we'll do one more, and then we'll get out of here. Well, yeah, I got, we'll move to mostly ones. Um, Broussard or Bedarded, uh picking your nose when no one is around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can, you, can you turn the camera off for this? <laughs> Bruce, uh, I, that is that is absolutely bedarded. Yeah, bedarded I mean, as hell. D- doing whatever you want when no one else right. is around is – I'm cool with. All right. Picking your yeah. nose is one of like the simple pleasures in life that mm-hmm. you're allowed to experience by yourself. You guys ass scratchers? Yes. Not really, no. When I'm scratchy, I'm not just a yeah casual. Yeah, not not a casual. I'm not CS, and I'm not casually. But scratchy. if like your ass scratches, or if your ass is itchy, um, what's the move? Are, are you like fuck it? I'm just I'm just gonna scratch my ass with my finger and then wash my hands. I assume. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, or are you like you gotta, you know. I, I I wish Brandon was here. He's the one with the he's with the anal glands, yeah, the itchiest guy. Um, yeah. How do how do we handle that? <sighs> Probably just in the privacy of your own home. You yeah. You, you just scratch. you scratch. Yeah. yeah. But even then, you're not a scratcher. Oh, I mean, what are you? Are we you, talking? You're, are you a wiggler? Are, are you, we talking? Do you like find a corner pants? of a table and like? No, we're we talking over top of the pants. No, I'm pants? talking. You just get in there and just fucking oh, scratch. No, it. no, no. I I go over, over the top. You go over the top. Yeah. I'm not going Urban Meyer on on my own ass, but I'm. I no, I'm get. not saying your finger and your asshole. I'm not saying you're you're. I'm saying you're addressing the itch. You just hit, hit it like if your if your cheek itches. You take your fingernail on skin on skin, and you scratch your. You, you take care of business. Right. Um. Sometimes you just got to scratch your ass. Right. You scratch your nuts. Yeah. Uh, Every morning. All right. Every morning. Do you like the pinch twist? Are you are you a nose you know, picker? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Connor, are you a nose picker? Occasionally, maybe like once a week. I do wash my hands, and I'm not. Yeah, just, we got I'm, I'm not saying that for uh, you know to to look better. I I do every single time. I immediately wash my hands, but uh, yeah, I mean, like at a certain point, your asshole gets itchy, and you're like, I just got to address this thing. Man. I got to hit it head on. Like, what am I? I'm not going to just sit here and wiggle on my couch. Oh, I'm gonna drag my ass on the carpet like a dog? No, dude, you got to get in there and, and take care of business. Do you have one more? Two more quick ones. Okay, two rapid more quick fire. Ones. Um, to or bedarded racism. Uh, I. <sighs> <laughs> this one's tough. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing a slight lean to to bedarded. Slight lean. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I, I was I, I was pretty racist for most of my life, and then I met Brandon, and I saw what true racism looked like, and it made me rethink my own racism. <laughs> <laughs> that one's tough, Connor. That, one, that one's like being called bitch. It's, it yeah. could go either way for me. <laughs> and then uh, the last one, for sorted or bedarded, uh, when a woman does not like to give oral sex. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, why don't you go first, Connor? <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, you're started as fuck. I think uh, I think Brandon will be back on Monday, as far as I know. Um, I don't think this was like a long term thing. I think this was like a quick in and out appointment. Um, he just gets the anal glands expressed, and uh, and uh, he'll be fine on Monday. So. Uh, Heart, heart hands to him. Did you do it like this? Do you put pinkies up? Do you do? What's the? I don't what's know. What's the one that? Oh, that's the that's a heart. The Demar one. This this emoji. It's this one. Respond to all of Brandon's tweets and tag him with this emoji. With this anal. We're thinking of you, Brandon. We hope your anal glands are expressed. Um, 
yeah, that's the show. We will be back on Monday. Enjoy the weekend. <laughs> Enjoy the weekend, everybody. Congrats to Ebo on winning $100 in our first ever scavenger hunt. See you guys on Monday. That's how ball is done. did want to play um auburn's 25 who's good on this game what year is it oh two oh my god wow washington state's number seven what was that? washington's 11 did evo leave 14 yeah yeah oh he didn't leave the building mark you want your hundred dollars back i put a fake hundred dollar bill in here oh really what? yeah Sorry. I put a fake hundred dollar bill in here and he took the fake one. He took the fake hundred dollar bill and he left the real one? Yeah. I that's funny. I found it out there. Dude, I think you I think you get the hundred dollars. I don't want it. I think that's how Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, you uh can. Texas number two, Tennessee okay. number four. What was Troy State? That's what that school used to be called? Troy State, yeah. Troy was just Troy State, huh? Can I make a confession? Uh, I've never played a college football oh, game. Okay. 
Uh, hey, you bro. My video in Dropbox is eight minutes long. Oh, you did the whole thing. I recorded. I just was just recording. Right Penn State's number eighteen, Connor. Hey, Blutman, we're still live. Oregon's by the number way. eight. Yeah. yeah really? Just you can say anything, but you I just wanted to make sure. Come Hop on the desk, but. You should come sit in. Uh, Blutman, help me. Help me win. Yeah, come sit in Mark's seat. Come be my offensive coordinator. I was gonna go make a bunch of. I didn't know they were about to make a very embarrassing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, it took us an hour and a half yesterday. I made six in a row. You made six in a row in an hour and a half. That's the most. Impressive. I'll play with Oregon. Uh, you were gonna be my first person to go to for the Pac-12 stuff, but I didn't. I didn't know if you were actually gonna have Pac-12 no, I'm stuff. Not on today. I, I want. You're usually a Pac-12 guy. I had a pen in my backpack. Neither of you asked. <laughs> Wait, did you? Yes, and I also had my Nevada ID. I was willing to dish out. Nobody asked. I'll play Oregon because they're because Joey Harrington's on the cover. Um, wait, but I want to be home. Fuck, dude, I'm an idiot. I want to be at home. Can you play Oregon versus Oregon? Should I do Oregon? Bethune Cookman. <laughs> yeah, just run the score up. What you can be like a lot of FCS schools in this, right? Ooh, don't look. Black guys are only twelfth. But no FCS schools yeah, in the new one. A lot of them looking like ACC. Oh, can only be ACC. We're not the swag in the ass. How's Rutgers looking in this? Uh, beat them up in well, you can play with the Ivies. Who's number one on this yeah. game? TJ, can you Google that? Troy State. Oh, three? Yeah. It's got to be, man. That UCF logo is great. Which one was it? Oh, there we go. It is Miami. Logo. What a horrendous logo! What is that? I know it's. A, I get it's a hurricane of some sort, but yeah. What's his name? Yeah, the Ibex or something. The right. Iris. A Morgan. Ibis. A Morgan playing. And eat the yeah, Ibis. Uh, Sebastian. Hurdle, dive, spin, sprint, juke, juke. Sprint is X. You just hold X. You know what football game sprint. rocked? You ever play Blitz the League too? Yeah. You could take steroids, Good game. but you might get like you might go to jail. And then they had like really really graphic injury animations where like your balls explode and like your neck gets broken. That game. game was good. Lawrence Taylor. Yeah, I that's my all my favorite sports games are the unrealistic ones. I don't. What a horrendous logo for Miami. Yeah, man. that's so bad. All right, here we go. Who's Oregon's coach back then? Mike Bellotti, probably. Where's the duck? Cody <laughs> gave me a fake hundred dollar bill. The duck's head falls off yeah, on the game. Hey, the one that was on the uh, kitchen counter, not the kitchen counter. Yeah, out there on one. Oh yeah, that's fake. So yeah, so who has my real one? He tried to get me to take it. That's a good. Who's got my real one? Oh my god. Yeah. They should have Dude Perfect do the commentary on the new NCAA football game. Oh my god. Uh, what do we think? Kickoff middle? I'll do kickoff left. They won't see it coming. Uh, Sean Taylor. Oh shit, dude! Bad kick, bad kick. Oh no, we're so fucked, dude. You can't opening kick against the number one team in the country. Fuck, dude. Oh no. Uh, let's do. They're running the football. I actually watched a video last night on uh, different types of cover two on TikTok. Uh, I love that guy. He's my favorite TikTok follower, Grant Horaway or whatever. Coach Grant Horaway. He's like, here's how to not throw as many interceptions in the flat, and I watched the entire video. Oh, shit, dude. Fuck, dude. I don't know any of these buttons. Uh, we're doing... 
Hey, Friday, we're still alive. Hey, guys. What's that? Mike's hot. Live. That's fun. How's everyone? Happy Friday, chat. Chat, happy Friday. Spider in the cut. Get, get him! Fuck! Fuck! I might be in trouble. I don't know how to play defense. Who's winning? Not me. Uh, NCAA 25? Yeah. Dude. And the players still don't have their I'm bringing a corner blitz. Hit <coughs> uh, Greg. Oh, that's, oh, oh, shit, dude. fullback. Oh. Invisible fullback. Oh, 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 take his fucking head off. <laughs> what, year is this? what is this playbook that Miami's running? Look at some of the run plays where it, like, goes through. The leap toss is crazy. The dude, I gotta do, I gotta do. Josh Hayes says, tell Spider I love running Inside blitz. Thank you, Josh Hay. That's Josh's pick for this weekend. I don't know if you can hear me. Josh, drop a winner in the chat. Who do you like in Atlanta, Josh? Or yes, yes. Is there anyone no scoreboard connection? Are there any notable players on these teams? Greg Olson on Miami? Uh. I don't know which game he played on Miami. I don't remember if Greg Olson was on the team. commentator. Yeah, like the Carolina Chief Strong. Here we go. Wait, football? Is this third down? I thought he was a substitute teacher. He was for a quick stint. God damn! Oh, oh I had him. Oh, how's that? Oh. Straps. Straps. Great coverage. Straps. Belt, belt him. Belt, seat belt him. Straps. Boom. Uh, they're, they're punting or their field goal. I don't know. We'll do punt return safe, man. Oh, you gotta be oh, fucking minutes. kidding me, dude. Great Oh. All right, we're doing. We're doing no back. We're doing slot drag. Here we go. How do you see the? Uh, right trigger. There we go. Who's going to be open? Uh, Yeah, we're just throwing it to square. Delay and game? Delay a game. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Come on, Trey. Come on, coach. Uh, He's getting stream sniped. Yeah. This is an on online game, right? Oh, man. Under center with no halfback? Yeah, watch this. Watch this. We're going square. Oh no, that could be picked. That's right. Uh, right. You got a hand on it. You got to give your guy a chance. <laughs> you trust your guy. Sometimes. You got to trust your guy. Uh. Uh. Do we do all streaks? Is it too early for that? <laughs> uh. I think you play action here. I think you play action in the go at the goal line. Uh, we'll do corners. Looks like one high safety. So it looks like they're in man. Did I get another delay of game? Oh, <laughs> what thought it was 40 seconds, dude? How f you gotta pick a place so fucking fast? What? <laughs> How am I supposed? What do you want? I'll count for you. 20. Or 90. Need your food. Ha! Open. X is. Oh, oh God. Oh, damn. No. <laughs> what a terrible throw. <laughs> All right, this is this is going very poorly. Uh, All right, we got to go hitch and goes. That's the only hope we have. Fifteen. 
Damn. Oh no, you <laughs> Orlovsky! Was that an I intentional Orlovsky? Might have been. <laughs> Might have been. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to give be him. Honest, you didn't want to give him a short field. I can't kick. Out of, that's a coffin corner. I uh, I didn't know that was possible. I thought I thought there was gonna be a mechanism that would stop you from. I really I really thought surely, surely, you go back like it's just gonna stop you and then you scramble that way. Damn. Sack the fucking guy. Take it. He's Great hurt. Hit. He's got to be hurt. Great hit. That's concussion. What? Face oh, mat. Oh, we got the five-yard one, though. It was only a five-yard one. Was that on them? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> it was only a five-yard variety. Sandwich. This is brutal, dude. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sandwich. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what does that mean? Count, count what you mean for what? Like the play? Oh, yeah. Can I be Rutgers? Can I be Rutgers? Yes. Were, Spider, were you going to invite me before you saw how bad I was at the game? I was going to invite you no matter what. Okay. Either you or Big Ev, I'm saying you represent the OSU. Which is gonna be a <laughs> Sandwich crazy. <laughs> yeah, what? It's every time I go to take a bite. Mmm, <laughs> sandwich. Mmm, mm, yummy. <laughs> oh, spin move. Oh. Fuck. Oh, I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I did get bad. Going up against the number one team in the country, backed up to. TCU, TCU in the building. No, 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 no. Challenge. Let's get more people in here. Let's see how many people we can fit in here. Go get some more people, Dawson. Fill this fucking room. Yeah, go grab Zoopy. Zoopy. And Reed. Get get them both in here. Come on in. Is Dave here? Come on in the studio. We're all hanging out. You guys keep laughing at me. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the same. Bro's really eating. <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm. I'm sandwich. I think we gotta go to a spy, Titus. We gotta go man to man and just spy. All right. Uh, quarterback spy. Good call. I could use I could use some help. That's what I thought Blubman was gonna do for me. He's not. He's just sitting there. All he's doing is just sitting there yelling. Yep. Play a game again. No way. Oh no. Dude, tackle this fucking guy. We got a bend, don't break here. Are you bringing blitz here? Uh, I went man lock on first down, but All right. gonna blitz. they're going to motion the running back here, right? Oh, that's a dot. That was a dot. What is that fucking guy doing? Diving out of the back of the end zone. There's nobody even there. Look at this. But there's another guy like diving out of the back of the. This is fucking horseshit. Connor, Jerry Cole tweeted you and said, Bowling. Is that Kellen Winslow? Wait, you're getting ball at half. Am I on Twitter? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting ball at half. Insane. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah. Down drive, double up. You got ball coming down half. The bell check dog hasn't even been. And, and this drive, <laughs> I've learned that there is no mechanism that keeps you in bounds. I didn't, what the fuck, dude? I didn't do it. I mean, I didn't even. Uh, All time collapse. Come tell the coaching and a failure to prepare and discipline these guys. Now, I, I would say maybe some of that responsibility falls on the coordinators. My offense 
Right. He's just the CEO. I'm, try- I'm the CEO of the team. I'm trying to. Oh wow! What a boot! My I God. Want, I want an outside run this first play. Outside zone. Yeah. But let's let's spin that mic around, blood. All right, hey, we're blood. doing. Let's come out and establish the run here. High formation, we think. Liam. Not. I, let's do. Uh... They'll never see the fullback blast coming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're bleeding clock. <laughs> yep. There we nice, go. Good nice. Pick up. Good pickup. There's three. Good pickup. Now maybe we innovate. Shotgun. <laughs> we innovate Shotgun. after getting our first two yards I, of the I, game. I picked the wrong play. I hit. I hit, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. The CEO I hit the wrong coach. <laughs> Second and seven. What are we running here? Some outs. Got thirteen or, on the play clock. Yep. Yep. Great. Got on him. time got throw. Him. Got him. Got on got time him. throw. I don't love the footwork by the receiver. <laughs> I don't either. That's he, not we, less we left. Stuff. We left three yards out there that we could have got, but that's okay. Third and three. iPhone's kind of working. iPhone twins. iPhone twins. What we got? Uh, we let's do. Got 19, 17. We want the we want the the drag coming across the. You got 12, 13, 12 seconds. I think we should just run mesh. We don't have mesh. Mesh hasn't been invented X yet. X is gonna be wide open. X is gonna be wide open. Watch this. They're in zone. They're in Arthur. zone. Arthur. What the? Oh. There's a four down there. Yeah, this is this is. Coach, do we have a good fake punt in the book? No, there's never been a good fake punt in any of these games. I mean, we're going. We need some shotgun. There wasn't Madden for a while. I have no shotgun. I think we no fullback blast this for three yards. Shotgun. There's no That's fucking it. shotgun, dude. <laughs> we have there's, we, we have clock. no back. Yeah, figure out. Still, Let's go curl flats. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clock? Curl, curl flats. Curl flats. Curl yeah. Flats. Five. Five. Fuck. Five. Fuck. You might Fuck. Need to call timeout. <laughs> good timeout. Good timeout. This is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. What were the guys doing last night before the game? We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't like. We gotta go a slot, and we gotta go toss week. There's so much space in there to fit in Oregon, and they. We gotta go toss Oregon. week. We're doing. We're doing weak side toss. We're doing weak side toss. On fourth and three. <sighs> <sighs> gotta get to the edge. Ah. <laughs> You wonder why they went for it. Shut the fuck up, commentator. Oh, they're being fucking Monday morning quarterbacks in the booth, huh? I used to play with Chris Collinsworth muted on Madden because I hated <laughs> listening to his fucking voice so much. Well, you know the thing about this guy. Oh, what a pick! No! Oh! We are so back. We're so fucking We are so play. back. That's I think we, we take a shot here on first down. Absolutely. Yeah. From no back. Fuck no it. Back. No Fuck back. it. No no WR2 back. down there no somewhere. Back. All, streaks? All, yep. streaks. All streaks. All streaks. All streaks. They'll never see it coming. All streaks. It looks Who's the best? It looks like they're in, in cover two. L here, I'm loving, maybe? I'm loving L or... Yeah. Go! Oh, no! Yeah. Oh. I, I think we – they'll never see it that. coming two Let's times in a row. Let's go. Build off that. Let's go. Run it again? I might – what about play action here? Play action deep ball. Uh, kind of like zip. Zip? Zip was kind of cool. Let's do zip. Yeah, a little double move there. Yeah, it looks like it might have a motion built in. This is crazy that – Oh, no. Oh, what a I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. We run the ball here. This offense is cooking run now. The ball. Yeah. We go strong slot. Is there a QB? Just you have a QB that, designed run? Simple. There's a QB draw in one of the I forms. Do you think I'm giving it away too much that when I go no back, I'm passing, and when I line up with a fullback, I'm running? I don't know if the U's dialed into that. Nice. Oh, oh. Dude, how did... <laughs> Oh, can't get this run game yep. going at all. A field goal here would secure three points. A little rollout here, maybe. Uh, let's, what if you faked a field goal on second down? We know out. he can't roll hit out. it anyway. He let's let's the mechanics. Yeah, I can't hit a field goal. Uh, there's no way. Is this the rollout? Yeah, play? we're doing a little rollout. Uh, I like this. I'm gonna be looking for the tight end crossing right here. Uh, oh no! 
That's a well, That's why we don't roll out. The quarterback out. didn't roll out. That's bad. That's bad coordinator <laughs> job right there. <laughs> quarterback didn't roll out there. Uh, a slot. A slot. Let's look for the the, the deep outs. Do deep outs, maybe. Or I think deep outs. Post? I think we get deep outs. I think we. <laughs> Can we get a hot route? Can we get X to maybe do a curl? I'm obsessed with square, dude. Square, or do I go circle? I, I think might go circle. Square, Circle's getting to the... Square could be a good timing throw. Oh, X. That too. Let's go! I think those out routes are your friend right now. I think you're right. Let's do... They would never see the halfback screen. You want me to do a screen? You're trying to do halfback screen? I, kind of this, I mean, that could be that could be a play that sets us back six yards right here. No, five. Lovin's calling for the halfback screen. Activate your best players. Three. Oh, they read it like a book. No, they didn't. It took too long to <laughs> they, pull, coach. You got to give it time to develop. Yeah, the, the coach you is. Gotta get no. your you got you to gotta make that throw as he's leaking out. And then he turns up field and that you guy can't. wasn't blocked. That's bad on the quarterback. <laughs> We had something there. I'm doing halfback streak. I Love like the idea of throwing to the halfback. The running back's a great player. Oh, fuck, dude. Get it out. Good throw. Oh, fuck, dude. All right, we got third down. Probably not I like the this best. quarterback. Oh, no. Yeah. Bench him? I want Joey Harry. Third and goal. Maybe, maybe we got to go. Ball. We got to go deep outs. Or we got to go, fuck. Dude, Those corner that? routes? How do you go back? How do you go back on the... Uh, I don't know. Fuck, dude. I don't know how to go back. What about that... Uh, uh, Hitch and go. It's got to be... Seconds. Yeah, this is this is insane. There's a wide receiver shovel I saw. Your, the tight end might be open here. Who, L? Yeah. Touchdown! Oh, Touchdown! What a call. Let's go! What a call, Let's even. go! So I learned this last night studying cover two that the will actually in Tampa two will, will go high yep. and that uh, yep. you're going to look for your first read to replace the will linebacker there. A late so. hit? Can I get a that's, late hit? That's just Up in the passer? really good work by the offensive quality control. Do we go for two or do we? I, I think you have to. You fake it. I think you fullback blast this right in their face. Has to be so much more fun. Double fake. Was there a double fake? What is the uh? What is your what is your primary read? Set up for a run and then kick it. Clock sticking. We're faking it. Tick, We're faking tick, it. Tick, 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 tick. Three. Oh, it's a fake. Oh, they got they got it sniffed out. Oh. No, they don't. Oh. Oh. That's too easy for the duckies. This our tight ends are playing. Quack 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 quack. Let's go. Quack. 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 Why, uh, why the duck walking like that? Middle. Let's just try to kick it as far as possible. Duck walk. I don't even understand how it's to put my control. duck. I swear to God, it's the controller. It was in bed. Oh, that's a great kick, though. That could... Oh! <laughs> Let's... You might have just found, like, a glitch in the game. <laughs> he could upload that to Dude, YouTube. I am... a lot of views. I'm in a great spot. <laughs> yeah. Strong blitz. This is 2003 and YouTube. Double A yet. football 2003 kickoff glitch would go crazy right now. <laughs> Look. Oh, pick oh! that. I'm not over how athletic a play your linebacker made on that interception. That was a big time play. I'm running. Uh, I'm running weak blitz now. We got to blitz him. We have to blitz him. Run? No. Fuck, 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 fuck. We got a dime. We got we to gotta bring some outside heat. I need outside heat. It's all right. That guy's NFL draft stock is tanking. Just keep him. Keep him. Uh, do I do monster blitz? 
I think we monster blitz. I think it's time for the monster blitz. I think so. I think they have a giant warehouse. Dude, why? The monster blitz almost got there. I'm getting zero pressure on this quarterback right now. Their offensive line is just full of gargantuan NFL type beasts. <laughs> Dude, that is that is devastating. <laughs> Spin zone. You knew that they were gonna get seven anyway, so you let them score, so you would have. A I get the ball back. So I get a chance to I double can score. I score. I get the ball back. We're back score to score again. We're back to inventing the bell check. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're good. Well, they're they're kicking. They could miss this hostile environment. Oh, oh, uh, had to get another cup of mud. I, uh, I may have done that. That might have been, that might, that one might have been. I, the first one was not me. By respect the move. It's happened to him twice. You got to think the he, leg's swollen. Yeah, he's going to think about it on the next kick. Surely. You have to injure their kicker to even the playing field of you not being able to kick. That's love love the point. center being out there. Hey, this guy's got... Look at the ref. The biggest leg I've ever seen. All right. 135. Let's start us off with some... Uh, I don't want to kneel. Uh, the fuck. Minor sewer shovel. PA curl. Uh, play action counter. Play action... 13. Take... Fuck, dude. Hitch and go. Like, I don't know. There's not enough time to pick these plays. No time. I got to go hitch and go. This was the touchdown play. Yeah. Let's go, dude. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm so good. Honestly, the one sack on the quarterback was on the, deep outs. on the coordinator. I love this deep out. Circle is going to be wide open. <laughs> Circle is wide open already. He's already wide open. Oh, no, they jumped the fuck out of that. Oh, no. Had X. That's tough. Yeah, the safety took the double. That's a new record. There's Chief. Yep, that was the first. <laughs> oh, is that Sean Taylor, too? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's tough. Um, ben, don't break. Ben, don't break. That one was tough. I think we're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> that one was tough. Oh, ball, 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 ball. Oh. Well, you recorded four tackles with one player. That's pretty good. That's, if there's something to take away from this game. Let's go. I'm out. Me timeout? You got to get the ball back. Oh, they're going back. no huddle. No, they're going no huddle. They're going, oh. No, I called a timeout. You got to get the ball back. So we're I down throw, eight. Throw, so I can throw another interception? All right, we're going. No, you locked. don't think that way. I think you he said it's over. <laughs> you just I keep running those outs. It's broken here. Oh, good coverage. Get we got to get to the quarterback. Back to quarterback. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Walk this. All right, this is a long Walk field goal. This. Just They're We can't rough the kicker here, Mark. We're in a pump I'm law. The kicker. I'm We're putting the controller law. down. I'm putting the controller down. Short. Ah. Whatever. Whatever. Longest field goal? All right, uh, return that, middle. Good from this is going to be the first time I get good field position, I think. <laughs> to start a drive. Mm. We're, we're bringing this back. We're Remember, no timeouts. timeouts. We're t why isn't he going? 
We have no timeouts. There's a flag. Face mask. Yeah, we're going to accept that for sure. Five yards. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. Oh, oh no. Oh, That's no. my guy. That's my hitch and go guy. Dude, Why'd you return is... it? <laughs> Ask Corso. Oh my god, dude! We gotta go. We gotta. I, I, <laughs> Are we taking curls here? We're doing. We're doing. You just... have to invent the hurry up here too. They're taking way over the top. Oh! Oh! What a catch! Get up there! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Tempo! Get up. Tempo! 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 As Corso, uh, curl flats. Curl flats. Curl flats. Let's go. Corso thinks you could kick a field goal though. I know. We got we got to take a shot here. We got to take a shot here. No! Oh Fuck. no. Oh, he looks like he's broken. Broken, broken rib? ribs, dude. <laughs> 7 weeks. Oh, oh no. Oh. I was I, I was, no, that was a spike. It was a was, spike. It was, it was a spike. I was hitting X to snap the ball and then it It's the controller, dude. We got a janky ass Now I, now I think you need to run some sort of double out here. Double It's the hitch and go. It's the the slot drag right here. What about the outside attack? Because I don't know if you're going to be able to stop the clock. Outside attack? Square. Nine seconds, nine seconds, nine seconds. God damn it, these play clocks are too fast. <laughs> you got You can't. You got to snap it. Accidental spike, though. That was, that was perfect. What a throw. Get out of bounds. Spike, 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 spike. How do I get out of that? Exit. Ah! Uh, All right, we got end zone. <laughs> Go for the end. <laughs> or three, two. That's poise. Oh. End zone. Oh no! Oh, pi. Pi. We're a second half team. This is a disaster. This is. Uh, this is. What I. What I wanted to do this. Yeah. What's in game strategy? Uh, bench the quarterback. Formation sub. Uh, no, 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 no. This is too much. Out of, how do I get out of here? <laughs> uh, how? What's what's the back button? A triangle. There's triangle on the it, other PS2 game. It's triangle. All right, that would have been helpful. At some point in the PS2 lifespan, they just decided. Circle is now back instead of Negative. triangle. Well, that's because B for Xbox yeah. was back. Well, it's B on Nintendo is back because they don't have triangle. But yeah, Y was back on some early Xbox games too. Crib. Go, 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 go. Crib. Dude, why is my guy getting in the way? He might have <sighs> utilized the spin move there. We don't, Can't wait till the day they get more let's, controls uh, and watch TJ beat Titus and Brandon in every game. We're Thanks, doing Ricky. I formation tight. We're Ooh, doing triple option. triple option. We're an option team. Always have. We're doing triple option. We're just we going to see how this goes. They used the option in the first half. That was our mistake. Triple option. Quarterback doesn't know how to pitch the ball. I also, yeah, I don't know how to pitch the ball. But it's on the quarterback. It's not on you. I didn't think about that until. Uh, So let's try no back. Let's try outside attack. <laughs> we already tried that one. Let's try zip. I like zip. Zip, zip was like good zip. last time. I do like zip. Just be careful of R. Oh, X is getting... All -star. God damn it with the delay of games. This is insane. Is this how every football game is? No. It was a false, oh, it was a false start. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why you can't have a CEO coach. Holy shit, this is... Insane. LSU literally won a national championship that way. Penalties though. are killing me. This is 2003. Come on, Ebo. Oh, what a play. <laughs> this team sucks. <sighs> Should have just done Harvard Yale. How is he not hurt? How is that not a concussion? He should have dropped that. He's got to. He's got to be out of the game. Do you want to set a bounty on their players right now? I do. Yeah. 
We're setting bounties. Maybe we, maybe we I want my players home. to know we're doing. Oh my god, dude! Hundred K for broken ribs. How? 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 <laughs> that... Oh my god! I, I'm still very annoyed by how it just says O R E G on there. Like they can't just fit Oregon. Uh, dime package on the goal line was probably a mistake. I should probably have paid more attention to what I was doing. I like that motion out there. That was nice. <laughs> Dude, my run defense is not bad. Not bad. They just don't run the ball. Well, that's why I mean, it's that's why it's good. <laughs> they don't run the they don't run the ball cuz the defense is so good, Blutman. Let's do probably goal line. Let's probably man wedge. Man Inside wedge. Man. Let's do man wedge. Man over. Oh, the pursuit was there. Oh, Ooh. how did I score and, and get the two point conversion? <laughs> How's the play still going? All right, I need. Uh, what's the what's the thought process here? What are we doing? We got it. We got. We I think. I think you live with your out routes and your your hitches to your tight ends. I'm not gonna lie. I think we find out whoever the fastest player is and put him at quarterback and just run the ball. Just scramble. Break one tackle for me, my God. Uh, a slot. Tight end post. Is the tight the tight end was good that one time. Tight end's a good player. He's a Sunday guy. <laughs> what type of grade do you have on him? You know, you, don't, you, don't, you know my stance on seven tight seconds. Ends. I, I have no time. I never have time. I take him in the fourth, yeah. probably. <laughs> Come on. Take him in the fourth or fifth. Of no, dude. I God damn it! Oh, I fucking no. hit this controller. The controller. <laughs> fucking. It's it's brand. Dude, I hit X to snap the ball. It didn't snap it, so I hit X again, and then it's got the lag. What, oh, if, what if we gotta go deep game, outs? We gotta go deep outs. Next game we do Ole Miss, Mississippi State, and put the difficulties all the way down, and just win like a hundred yeah. nothing with Ole Miss. Well, I don't like eighty six over there. I wanted four over there, but four has to be. Oh. And fifteen broke his ribs. They're in zone. Oh. I thought L might have been. Sean Taylor is dominating this football L game. L might have been open there, but I couldn't tell if a ref was with them or a Miami player. We got to go outs. We got to go outs. Outs is the only hope we have, but they're reading the outs. They're sitting on the outs. They're sta Oh, they, they, they stack. Can we Dude. hot route L? I have no idea how to hot route. <sighs> Trying to help, coach. How are you playing now? You're audibling. Three. Uh, oh, no. Get the playoff. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Coach. <laughs> Please. They're booing. This <laughs> oh, why did you see a reverse? I like the tight end. Tight end deep deep outs. Outs. Good play. Tight end deep outs. That was a good delay game to take. This wide, re wide receiver four might be open here. <laughs> All right. I'll keep an eye on him. Damn. I love 41. Oh, no. 41? Where'd he go? <laughs> I think Nerf you run the wide receiver reverse on fourth and Nerf 15. controller is a throwback. The only non Sony controller I ever had, I had a Yankees <laughs> controller that I had as my controller one for a long time until I realized it was trash. And then I went back to the translucent PS2 controllers. It's a fake. Of course it's a fake. It was always a fake. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you walk in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ty. What are we doing? Come dude? on, bro. What are we doing, dude? This is insane. <laughs> You're embarrassing the kids. <laughs> Tell you what. Miami minus nine and a half was a pretty easy winner today.
Why did you guys let me play the number one team on this game? I said Bethune Cookman. Why would I do that? I said <laughs> Why would I do that? I also wanted to play at the Kibby Dome. Hey. I just want to score one more touchdown and I'm quitting. Boo. What's our best play been? Roughing the kicker that one time? Yeah, roughing the kicker was our best play. <laughs> no, it was the kick where you pinned them on like the four. Oh, yeah. That yeah, was my, my sick. Kickoff. We have to take it out. We have to. Woo! <laughs> Fuck, dude! Oh, you had one man to beat it. He's gone. <laughs> I wasn't going to beat him. That was a sick. I wasn't going to beat him. That was a sick little reverse direction, though. I think you run the wider steer reverse. We'll run the wide receiver reverse. What are you thinking, Spider? Tight as Kermit Brown. Wide receiver reverse coming up. He's winning right now, Spider. Hey, turn it around. Oh, crap! Oh, oh, where's the block? Big, man. Fuck. Ah, good call, Bubman. Good call. That good was call. there for a It was for a, a half second. Large second. touchdown. Gain of five. Uh, open flood. Open flood. Open yeah. flood. Open flood. God damn it, dude. We have a really bad quarterback. We have to go QB no bad. draw, QB draw. They'll never see it coming. Yeah, it's a good point. <laughs> you'd have, to, also, be an, you'd have to be an idiot to run quick QB draw, which is why yes, we're doing I also don't really want to see his quarterback throw the ball again. He's th no. Dude, why? Oh, no. <laughs> Get your feet. It's three and out. Yeah, yeah, right, buddy. We're going for it. Why do you see the reverse? Bro, uh, you know what they would never see coming, Mark? What's that? You ran QB draw again. QB draw again. Or the We're going no back. Reverse. Flip it. No back. QB draw. Oh, no. They might they see, see it coming. coming. <laughs> they might see it coming. Oh, oh. go. 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 Balls out. Oh. What? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> God damn it. That was the play. That was the I'm play. done. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm not. I'm not done. You know what I was thinking, done. too? I'm not done. We are. They would have never saw the third straight QB draw coming. I'm not done. I'm not done. We're not quitting. This might be the first podcast to ever be released while it's still recording. <laughs> I just pressed publish on the podcast. Oh, on the uh, on the part before this, the episode we did today. Yeah, but I didn't. This is, I, this I, didn't I didn't leave this in the oh, podcast okay. version. We should put out another bonus episode tomorrow. That's just a podcast of this. this yeah, the worst podcast ever. Oh, great yes. way to meet him in the there hole. There we go. Come on, dude. Come on. Big play here. Defense. Goal Defense. line. Defense. We got to bring some Defense. Heat. We got to jam middle. We gotta, Defense. We got to fire gaps. Oh. Fire gaps. Fire gaps. Oh. oh. Fire gaps. Let's go. Four. Both of them have completely checked out. Yeah, yeah. This could not be more boring to. 33 to 8. 33 to 8. I don't know what I'm saying. 33 to 8. Evo they never put his fours up. You didn't put your fours up, Evo. You're no. my offensive coordinator. No, or offensive defensive coordinator. Quality control I'm quality control. control. Dude, do you see my guy, Christian Taylor? William and Mary, OC. Got a job with the Bills, defensive quality control coach. 
Hell yeah. That's going to be a NFL head coach. He's got to be the first guy from William & Mary to make it as an NFL coach, right? There's not a lot of Here William & Mary guys. Especially with the Buffalo Bills. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! It's like an anime or like a K-pop. I got that back to no, the 19th. Um, that, was that was almost good. He'll, he'll be yeah, an NFL yeah, head coach within three years. Cody, give me a play. Guaranteed. Uh, head coach? We don't have that. In the or maybe he'll go college route. We have flea flicker at home. But. Yes, oh, they're right. He, he's a he's an off deep out. Out. The deep out. He's an offensive genius. Now adding a defensive role to his resume. Which is the current, like. Head coach ran all over. Version. Yeah, it's fun. We got to go. Half we got to go halfback screen. screen. Yeah. We got to go halfback screen to the short side of the field. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're battling. Spotted them points though on purpose. Oh, yeah, what? get it, get it, get it right to him. Get the it right screen, to him. the screen is not the They're call. Right block. I got it right to block. him. The right tackle can't block. Titus, didn't take that into. Account. You know what a team would never run on second down and fifteen? The quarterback draw. The qu right QB draw. Yeah. QB draw. Okay, how was I supposed to know that the right tackle has no lateral movement? They're five wide. They, they, no way they're running the football here. Uh -oh. We're basically Let's inventing. Go, dude. That's the best play I have. <laughs> this That's is, the best play I have. This is this era's tush push. They're going to they're gonna ban this. Third and seven. I think that's the best play I have. <laughs> it's the quarterback draw. <laughs> After winning by There's no, 25 plus. They might, they might know you're in QB draw again. About this and ban it. No, they, they don't know. They don't know. First down. Point. Show me the point. Give me the Che Just point. Sh Challenge. <laughs> fourth and inches. What's our fourth and inches play? Shot. Shot play. All streaks. QB draw. This was the time for all streaks. It's a QB draw. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> First down, ducks. Quack. Let's go. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Oh. Uh, I don't think they'd see it. I'm <laughs> QB drawing them. I'm going to go ahead and QB draw them. And we don't give a duh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're starting to see it. I think they might. Oh, no. They might have figured might, it out. I think they might be seeing it. That was on your QB. All right. All right. Slap your all right. So, but now they think they have it stopped. <laughs> They'll never see it. Now. <laughs> No, now we do, uh, now we do, uh, in and out, in and out, in and out. You got Wildcat in that playbook? They don't have in and out in Eugene. The fuck, the X is, or do I go L? be wide open. Oh, there's a, there's a flag. There's a flag. I saw the ref toss the flag. Holding, holding, holding. First, that's oh, that's on us. Tackle. Jeez. Bench him, bench These penalties, bench him. I think anyone watching would agree. If these penalties go a different way. It's the, a completely right different game. Right completely tackle. different game. The turning point might have been the intentional safety. Now, hang on a second. <laughs> that was not intentional. Uh, again, I thought that there was going to be a mechanism that would keep me in bounds. Great, it's got to be square. I got to let my guy make a play. I just got to let my guy. What? What? I didn't even hit a button, dude. I didn't even hit the button. I hit no buttons. What is going on? Third and 20, there's one player on. Hey, folks. There's one player on here. QB run on third and 20? Not run the QB draws. Now we crazy. go. No, dude. Now I'm, we letting, go. I'm letting my guy square make a play. We are so back. It's over. Yeah, square. Oh. God damn it. This is fucking. Right tackle. Again, right tackle. He can't play. Right tackle cannot play. This team is so guy. bad. How are they eighth in the game? All right, fourth and 28. There's only one left. I got to do it. I mean, I got to. We got to do. We got to go hitch and go. They're going to they're gonna bite on the hitch so bad, dude. They're going to bite on the hitch so bad. Watch this. Why are there still so many? This guy is going to bite so bad. Oh. You fucking idiot. It's a hitch and go. <laughs> And they're taunting you. They're dancing in your face. Smiling. 
Herb Street's laughing. <laughs> Scott right. Van Pelt's dancing. I hate this. I hate this so much. This was such a bad idea. No. He just pointed at you. Still. See, Stu's still, still in bounds. He was just still. That's Frank Gore. There we go. There we go. Holding the three there. That's a game. There we go, boys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Quack, quack. Quack. I'm simulating the snap count. Ooh. Didn't work. Let's go. Quack. It's a great effort. Oh, this oh. is even in the oh. Oh. We're blitzing all. We're blitzing all in third and nine. We're blitzing all. We got to get to the quarterback. Oh. If it's a pass play, we got to sack him. If it's not, false start. Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh. At the end of the day, they were bigger, faster, stronger. <laughs> and we, we were never being them. They just broke we five never, fucking tackles, dude. How Oregon, do you, Oregon how, plus 30, how, another how loser. What's this guy doing that's laying? He's la <sighs> we, we, we were never being them. Just uh, go to the menu and switch teams. Ooh, I like that. But, Bloodman, I we got 57 seconds. For the rest our, of our lives. For the rest of our lives. If we can score, you're right. like, you're not, this game's lost, but we're building momentum for the rest of the season. This so is a, a transfer portal de deflector now. 43 to 8. Was that 35? We're down 35. Oregon, plus 33 and a half. Another loser. Take it right now. Here we go. Here we go. God damn, dude. I, we can't break one tackle. I've learned that none of these All Oregon right. ducks know how to juke. All right, I want a quarterback draw, but unfortunately, think of what that sassy. I don't even know if they've really outgained you in yardage, really. <laughs> hey, I'm having a bad voice today, chat. You're right. Just gotta see one go in. We got hoodie TJ in the back. Oh, oh what a what a great go. throw! Go. Timeout. Go. Threw his guy open. Shit. Sorry, I'm. Let's see it again. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we got yak in twenty. Now we got Yak in 17. Oh, yeah. Oregon's only down 33 yards of offense. Yeah, I think if we win the yards game, that's a good uh, that's a good moral victory. Oh, no. Let's what go. A Throw your guys open. Time out. Time out. We, gotta, we need a time out. We got to gotta score here. Down six in the yards battle. This is for the over, right? QB draw would go crazy. Hey, Nicky Smokes. Hey, I'm setting up the QB draw. Are you? Yeah. You got anything to say to the mic? You ever played this um, game? Hey, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Oh. oh. that was almost a great throw. He was wide open. He was, was wide open. Uh, wide Titus open. is. What year is this? 2003. He's killing Oregon right now. Yeah. Oregon's trash, dude. Yeah, that's when the Canes were actually good at football. Yeah, and had that super cool logo. No, dude. Oh, he didn't run the to, route. Throw it to where he's route. at. Throw it to where he's going. Throw. <laughs> he had all. T That's one on one. Smokes totally bought that, though. He thought we were Miami. <laughs> all right. I that's, a, go that's a victory. I gotta go so. back to the well. We're doing. We're doing no back. Quarterback draw. This is not a touchdown a play, out. but this is we're a momentum up the play. This is a legacy play. This is a momentum play. Yep, you're gone. Time out. Time out. Uh, yeah, up 35. Uh, outs. We gotta go outs. We outs have worked all game. Outs have worked all game. Out. My guy number four. 
Out. Yep. Yep. Oh, he didn't yep. run his route though. We gotta call timeout. That's that new family. <laughs> deep outs. Family. Deep outs. Yep. Deep in, outs. In we need to take a shot here. Eighty-six at the pylon. They're Meet me zone. at the pylon. Eighty-six. Zone. Meet me at our spot. L. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's go. What a backdoor for us. Go Titus. Good, good pick, lover. You know what we're doing? We're going for two. Of course. What a moment. Oh no. So oh no. Going for two. This is the cover here. Oh shit. Is this? Yeah. This is probably the total. Oh, they never saw it coming. Yeah. We won. All right, we I think win. Yeah. we win. I think we, we need we, win. we need to do a winning season. double winner. We onside, need, onside. We need oh. to do a like a season mode where you only run QB draw. Yeah. <laughs> the play that broke NCAA 2003 will be the name of the uh, YouTube video essay. Dude, I, I kept it in bounds on the kickoff. So. So basically, build off that. you're him. Take his fucking head off, dude. <laughs> Can we actually do that and just choose the team with, like, the biggest quarterback? Yeah. And see what happens? Or, or can you, like, put a player as quarterback and then run QB sneak? I think you can. You could in NCAA 14. Do it for Brandon, man. What's the score? Uh, 43 to 16. <laughs> Dude, I took it. Time out, time I, out, time I, out, time I, out. I, I pretty much won. I just, I ran out of time. I didn't lose. I ran out of time. 43-16. Let's go, dude. That two-point conversion. Uh, All right, that was a bad idea. Up, Everybody that have a great, great idea. idea. That was a great idea, I think. I Super. love the QB draw idea. Maybe spin a random wheel. Family. For the team. Family. All right. See you guys Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs>